All right, the Combo Breaker 2019 CBS2 tournament is about to begin. Hardcore fans have been eagerly anticipating this event, and now the wait is finally over. Check your training wheels at the door, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be one incredible battle that won't easily be forgotten. The time has come when the new history is going to unfold. You can feel the intensity in the air as the hopes, dreams, and hearts of these warriors are about to be put to the ultimate test of skill. What they're after is the title world's strongest now are you ready to get it on whoa <laughs> that was the whole thing that was the whole thing welcome, welcome. to combo breaker 2019 capcom versus nk2 grand well mm. top eight top eight the grand finals will come soon yes i'm robin renegade i'm nothing excess andres yes. how is everybody doing tonight we yes. have a pretty good top eight after we finished uh doing uh what is it we did uh pool a Yes, yes, we did pool we did last pool night. We had, a, we had our first in, our international competition. Yep. Uh, Nakanishi qualified out of pool A, and we saw some like sort of interesting uh, play, and we had uh, sort of Patrick Miller come out. We had Patrick Miller come out of losers. Yeah, Nakanishi also playing a refute to remember. We did make the point of uh, reminding everybody that that was a John Choi's team that yes. he's also playing. He's playing a pretty fun C Groove team, and. Uh, after all that stuff that we were talking about, it wound up being that Dr. B wound up actually yes. showing up for his pool and playing. Yes, the and one so and only. The and, one and only. And, you know, it was talked about. The Twitter was the Twitterverse was a buzz several months ago. A buzz about what? A buzz about a potential money match between Dr. B and one and only Justin Wong. Justin Marvelous Wong? And we didn't even have to get in a special event because they are one of our first matches here at Combo Breaker 2019. In Here's fact, the bracket. Yep. Nakanishi uh, versus Rustizi. Rustizi's from Michigan. He's an A-Groove a player. Um, yep, he's, he's been rocking a Claw, Rolento, and Dictator, according to him. Yes. Um, over and this entire weekend. And he's the first up against Nakanishi again. We've been talking about yeah, Nakanishi. Yeah, Nakanishi's from Japan. He plays C-Groove. Uh, John Choi's team, which is, is Guile, Ken, and Sagat. So really, really strong player there. And let me talk a little bit about something that you may not have realized. What groove are you playing? I am playing in groove. Do you know what that means? Every oh. single groove is represented in the bracket tonight. Oh, that we is. We have Nakanishi as a C groove player. Rustizi is an A groove player. Dr. B is an S groove player. Jay Wong plays whatever he feels like <laughs> that time when he wakes up in the morning. Patrick Miller, Pat the Flip, down here in the loser's bracket. K groove player. Plays Claw, Athena, Sagat, Kyo, Nakaruru. That's basically mm -hmm. his uh, box of tools. VDO is a P-Groove player, and if it's an SNK character, he is likely to choose it. Yes. Also loves Zangief, inexplicably, but he, he loves him. And then, while I don't know a whole lot about Jamarvelous, I didn't get my scouting report Who's out that on other him. Guy? It's uh, I, It's you. Uh, that's me. And you're an N-Groove player. Yes, so I did qualify. Um, I lost to J Justin Wong very, very badly in my pool. Whack. Um, I mean, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was real tough. Um, but I qualified in the top eight. So uh, when I am playing, I will be relieved by none other than Christian ba Bauman, Team Chris. Team Chris. Uh, also from South Florida on the mic. Um, I'm excited about that. Uh, you know, it's kind of a bonus that to be able to get to play and commentate in the game I love. That is a, for so long. It is a rare opportunity afforded to very few few yes. and combo breaker is the kind of place that can make it happen yes where dreams can truly come true so let's look at some of these the the matchups uh, you know Nakanishi rust easy like well C, C versus A yeah um, I feel like that's a or it used to be a slightly more common matchup I still do think that a groove uh, because of a groove's ability to kind of run away and build mm -hmm. meter especially with the team that he has which is a run away a run away a spend <laughs> the bar and kill you yep and then, so, let's talk a little bit about the drama. Uh, so, Dr. Dr. B, Galaxy, and uh, Justin Wong have been, like, they couldn't come to terms on a money yeah. match. Trading barbs on the internet, as, yeah. you, as you would say. Uh, Justin said he would basically let Dr. B pick his team for him. Oh, boy. Uh, and, and Dr. B wanted to pick his team and his groove, and then just wouldn't agree to uh, the match. We had some a little bit, uh, will he, won't he, drama earlier when uh, Dr. B was rumored to have withdrawn from the tournament due to uh, uh, inadequate seating uh, yeah, he according was, to his management. Yes, he was, uh, he was unhappy with the seating according to uh, the conversation that I had with him and I do believe that I, uh, I shamed him enough through words that yes. he decided that he would play that or someone that finally convinced him by giving him a large sum of money or <laughs> some other uh, Who knows, agreement. But I don't know, but he's in the bracket and, and that's kind of good because I really do now, I know that it is an unpopular opinion. I do have fun watching him play. Yeah. I know a lot of people like to like to drag him through the mud. I genuinely find it fun for a he is, number of reasons. He's quite a character and mm -hmm. has definitely brought more attention 
uh, to the game over the past yes. year. Now, and I will not fault him that. Yeah, whether whether you think, uh, you know, his uh, braggadocious boasting uh, behavior is warranted or not, uh, let's, will the hype live up to the play? That is what we're about to see. I kind of hope it does. Yeah. Because it makes it even more funny. <laughs> it can only the, only, the only good, the only thing that can happen is good. And then yeah. after that, for uh, that's going to be it for uh, for the two first winners matchups. And I think mm -hmm. I feel like we'll talk a bit more about the losers matchups when we get as there. they get here. But first, I do believe I see people sitting down and starting to get ready. I think that is, in fact, Rusty actually. Yep. Rusty checking the sticks. Uh, Nakanishi was playing Super Turbo. I do believe he's already done with that. Patrick uh -huh. Miller in the background. Yes. Also, kind of just... Uh, so let me set the stage a little bit. We do have the camera here going, but uh, basically this is the old school room here at Combo Breaker. It's a, a sort of a ballroom dedicated only to uh, old school games. We have pretty much everything. <laughs> Nothing in here being played was, was made before the advent of <laughs> HD video games. <laughs> pretty uh, much. So, you know, we, we have original hard arcade hardware we have dreamcast ps2s super nintendos super uh, guns uh, yeah and then super guns which basically mimic what an arcade shit uh, arcade system is on the inside in order to make it more per portable yeah um, and also one of the huge advantages of uh, our super guns at least now in modern days is that um, a lot of people own their own sticks. They all tend to use a uh, USB. Yeah. And uh, while they all use slightly differing, um, perhaps, protocols for sending out that USB information, uh, very clever people, cl people much more clever than myself or maybe <laughs> many of us, uh, have figured out the, uh, the, a way to sort of interpret all of the nonsense coming through yeah. and make sure that everyone can use any or most any stick that they have. Mm -hmm and play on a super gun with no issues and no input delay, well, which just, is wild. It just goes to show you the amount of dedication that the community has had over the years. Um, basically, we went from playing on arcade cabinets themselves, which were really pain in the butt to move, really expensive uh, to buy, and the community didn't have that kind of, uh, like, basically uh, financial forces or endeavors or anything like that. But when you get big events like hit this, and let me tell you, this is a big event here on Cabo Breaker. They hit the registration cap here, um, which is, and it's grown year over year, 20%. Uh, you know, we have over 3,000 competitors here. Um, we have, you know, massive ballrooms filled to the brim with people. Uh, and it is fantastic. If you are not here, you are at home, and you're wondering, man, I, I, I wish I, I, I want to go there. Like, Start planning now. It's not that bad. Like, uh, Chicago is an easy place to get to. Um, you know, there's plenty of hotels around. Uh, you might have to, you know, Uber here or whatever if the hotels get filled up. But, like, the fact that it's been growing 20% every year means that when people come, they like it. They tell their friends more people come. And, like, there's a little bit of something for everyone, right? So, like, if you're an old jaded man like I am, <laughs> you can come out here and you can play yourself some fun old games you can play super turbo you know you can sweep into fireball if that's the kind of thing you still enjoy doing you yeah. can play cvs2 where you can also still sweep into fireball if that's the kind of thing you like doing if you'd like to get carpal tunnel while you're doing every single combo in the universe marvelous <laughs> capcom 2 here is free, is here for you yes. if you have a moss stick that weighs more than your firstborn <laughs> you can bring that like there is a little bit of something for everybody here and that is to me one of the coolest aspects of the whole like I guess the renaissance of the old game. Like yes. Technology has advanced in some ways enough that we now find it easier to play the old stuff. Yeah. At well, events. Well, you know, back when these re was released, the community we were a bunch of kids, right? And like yeah, dragging arcade machines everywhere. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like we thought we knew what we were doing. And then you know now, like there's a lot more adults in the community that you know people that are electrical engineers that make you know these uh, converters uh, people that uh, are carpenters that basically create these setups uh, shout outs to toodles by the way yeah. one of the few one of the first pioneers of getting stuff to work with other stuff yeah yeah people that are, people that are programmers that basically uh, program like reprogram old hardware to be more user friendly um, there was a thing that like arca the arcade games uh, uh, back in yesteryear they used to actually have what they is called a suicide battery yeah where, where the board would if you did not get the battery replaced by Capcom USA the board would die um, and that was sort of their like sort of planned obsolescence yeah and the community has, has figured out a way to even after it kills the board to be able to bring back the board and, and play on it so like we're we're, we're better we're good at this stuff now the Venus project yeah we're able yeah. to 
to bring you these old games on old hardware at the same sort of size, scale, and scope, and spectacle of all the other games that you may hear, see here at Combo Breaker. Yeah, and I mean, that, that's really cool, right? So, like, that because that was the era of when I got into it, which mm -hmm. was, like, the early aughts. Um, I know, I, obviously, like, I'm not old enough, or I wasn't living in the United States long enough to really experience the heyday of America, uh, <laughs> really playing all this kind of stuff. But I really got to really enjoy uh, getting into the community in like the mid thousands, early thousands. And yeah. then with time, um, even though the games kind of moved on, I sort of in some ways didn't. Obviously, I still play this um, and I still love this game very, very, very much. And so for me, an event like this, which brings this game back and lets me play it on the hardware that I bought and still maintain and still drag to locals every now and then. You know, there's a barbecue. I'll bust out my SpongeBob <laughs> CRT and my other little rinky dig CRT. You have a SpongeBob CRT? Oh, yeah. And by the way, there's a story behind that if you want to hear it. Uh, I'm, you know, it's not much of a story, but it's a funny story. I'm, whatever. You know, uh, maybe a little bit later. I'm not sure everybody yeah, yeah, wants yeah. to know about your SpongeBob CRT. But hey, but hey, when you push up and down on the volume to turn up the volume, it's SpongeBob faces. Ooh. It's pretty lit. Yeah. I'm it's pretty lit. I'd as many melee players will attest to, because that is a favorite <laughs> of melee players as well. Oh, wait, wait, wait you, you said the game that shall not be named. Nah. It's fine. Listen, they understand the struggle of old hardware, old game. Okay, I'll give them that. So, yeah. I'll give them that. Uh, that's, we share tech sometimes. Okay. Anyways, but yeah, you know, um, you know, drag all the old equipment and that's stuff that I still use. And now I get to play it with equipment that they brought and yeah. can work on almost anything. Look at how crisp this image is. It's very crisp. It's got like almost no interlacing. It looks fantastic. Um, Modern technology. It's my favorite character in the game right there already. Just trying to throw some some just fire eyes. Yeah, I love my so much. Okay. She's so fun. Yes. I wish, you know, I kind of wish I played because I might have been able to sneak in here somewhere. <laughs> and I would have been able to standing fierce my way to a I lot of a lot of cheap stuff. I hope so. But eh, it is what it is. Well, um, we, we're mean, still setting up right now. Well, wait, as far as if you did. Uh, then we'd be sort of short two compensators, uh, you know, at times during this bracket. Well, so. you know, at that point, maybe if we have to even play each other, they could just give us the headphones and we'll play <laughs> and talk probably. about the nonsense that we're doing. Turn around and be like, I can't believe you got hit by that. Yeah. And then you'll turn around and be like, I can't believe you got hit by Roll Cancel Rekka 40 times. And 40, I'll be like, well, I love times. buttons. Yes. All right. So we got we got Rust Easy sitting down. Uh, let's see if we are getting... Uh, Nakanishi. There is Nakanishi. Yep, Nakanishi finally walking over. It looks like they may have resolved some of the technical issues that they were having. Yes. There are, I mean, there always are technical issues. I mean, you can't really... I mean, they're, but they're technical issues on every platform. There like is always, the modern yeah. stuff. Yeah, and, and frankly, like, uh, like, it's a little bit harder maybe to interface the older stuff. So you gotta, like, figure it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. But it looks like uh, they have more or less figured some stuff out. Let's see if, uh, if Rusteezy can get into the game. Yep. Capcom versus SNK2. Millionaire They're sitting down to try it out. Yeah, okay. Millionaire Fighting 2000 2001. This is how long this game has been out. Yes. What is that, 18 years? Yeah. Like, CBS2 could vote this year. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to talk about yeah, wait, that. Yeah, let's not talk about let's that. Do, let's dodge that conversation. Yeah. Someone in chat is already like, ah, you're talking about voting. Uh. Uh. You're talking about politics. Actually, man. actually, it would be old enough to, for its vote to be suppressed this year. Dang. Yeah, you now you just made a statement. I'm sorry. Now we're in trouble. Oh, tough. Now the people on the internet will be calling us all sorts of names. <laughs> oh, man. They, they already like, were. Those like, terrible people who like people voting. <laughs> <laughs> Awful. I feel, I feel like if you watch Finding Games, you're down with voting. <laughs> You're like, I like that. That's yeah. my thing. Down. All right. Oh, here so, we go. No, we're doing a yeah, button check. Yeah, this, uh, this is mis botones funcionan, por favor. Oh, uh, okay. That means, uh, but do my buttons work, please? Yes. Yeah, uh, it was complete nods to Spanish. All right. It should have been better. It would have been like, quiero checar mis botones. Yeah, you're only allowed to speak Spanish when they all S and K characters uh, are on the screen. Or any time KOF is happening. <laughs> yes. Anywhere. Okay, so here we go. Rusteezy uh, has gone through the gamut. And now he's checking his uh, his other stuff. He seems to be having fun. Yes. So look, for the viewers at home, the button check is basically, you know, does all my stuff work? Yeah. Uh, you know, are my buttons where they should be? Yes. Is fierce actually fierce, yes. or is it in fact? Oh yeah. yeah, we do have to explain. Sometimes 
we might use interchangeably light punch, medium punch, heavy punch with and jab, strong, fierce. And short forward roundhouse. For light kick, medium kick, heavy kick. Correct. It's because we're old. It's because we're old, and that's what it used to say. And there was like this weird, like, uh, focus yeah on doing it oh so we're, we're we're picking we're picking the peoples yep rusty as uh, as advertised claw rolento and dictator yes. in a uh knock on ishi c a group, a group gives you the custom combo in order to be able to chain comp like attacks and however you want and of all the custom combos you may want to have in the video game bison's is pretty much up there mm -hmm. if you uh if you ever needed a, a contractor to make sure that your <laughs> fence was nice and looking clean my man Bison, he's got the clean fences for you, nice and painted. So this is open up. It's been a fairly even exchange of blows here. Vega, I would say, yeah. probably has a small advantage over Guile. It, it looks right now pretty much like Claw versus Guile, which is if Guile throws a sonic boom that I saw with ample time, I'm going to kick him in the that hands. Was, that was a roll super that just whiffed air. So yep. he wastes a lot of meter, but Guile builds it back pretty quickly. Yep. Not only uh, The other uh, thing about Claw, too, is that Claw is a great battery, uh, battery being a character that builds meter very quickly, for those of you who are wondering what old what this old man is saying. Yes. Uh, now that he has full meter, uh, uh, Claw is okay at spending it, but would rather pass it on to somebody else. There it is. It but, is the activation. Oh, by the way, activation, really invincible. We're going to yes. carry and he's, gonna, he's not going to do any jump fears because he doesn't have time. Just going to end it as standing round house super. Yes. All right. So... Good pressure here from Rusty actually. Mm -hmm. This is a very great start. Oh, that might. Okay, nice off the counter there to not die by chip, but maybe not worth the investment. So basically, the meters bas basically allow you to do either special things, either defensive, offense maneuvers, and all very powerful things. That time, Nakanishi spent one of his meters in order to be able to knock Rusty off of him in a defensive situation. Yeah, Alpha Counter, if you're familiar with Street Fighter V, is basically a V reversal, but it deals Ooh. a negligible amount of actual damage. It doesn't deal any of this gray health stuff. Uh, and it does knock the opponent away now. Some of them are really bad, like you'll never see Blanco use it. It's All right. just a bad idea. So, yes. So uh, we, we have Nakanishi's Ken really, really taking it to uh, Rusty's Claw there. Very like aggressive. He can have a couple of roll cancels there. Uh, we'll uh, get to that in a second. but Which is kind of weird because uh, you, if you play this game a little bit, you understand or you're familiar with the fact that Shoto's and, and Claw Dude, yeah, Shoto's, is rough. It's, it's a bad matchup. So It's oh. also a bad matchup for uh, Shoto's against uh, Rolento, in my opinion. Even uh, though here we go. Oh, does not does not complete the combo. Yeah, so some jitters. Nice block on the uppercut, though. Left some damage on the table, but Rusty's doing pretty well. Yep. Wow. Oh, okay. Right. Short to roll. That's gonna yeah, juggle. That, that is a deep juggle. Ooh, does not do the level one. Maybe he's saving it. He might be for a future uh, future uses. Nice anti air there. Oh, the RC funky kick there. Very another an RC funky funky yeah, kick. Yeah, he's getting them down. Nice right. chuck. The walk of shame is oh, oh crouching jab into Shinryuken. I mean, did he just do it? Oh, uh, it doesn't chip. matter because the chip would have probably killed him anyway. He would have yeah. forced him to use a yeah. alpha counter if you want to get out of that. So and that's not worth it. You do take damage while blocking certain special moves. If you run out of life while blocking one of those moves, you die. Yeah, and some of these do incongruous amounts of chip damage. <laughs> uh, a groove, for example, if you ever have to block uh, a Sakura and Sakura has activated and started her Shosho, does a lot. Yep. Claw oh, oh, that's a really good button. So standing fierce, uh, hitbox yeah. mildly unfair. Yeah, that's pretty good. He clipped uh, clipped Ken out of his kick. Said, yeah. uh, "Could you please put that one away where you found it?" So now this uh, this matchup is basically it, is will CBS Claw? Too. Yeah, will Claw land? Yeah. I mean, will uh, <laughs> will Dictator land? His A combo. Well, will he land the scissor kick? Oh, okay. And if the scissor kick lands, how many coats do you oh, want? Activate. Oh, activate. But remember, he can air guard. Oh, you can't block can't when you're block. activated. Saves the meter. Yep. But uh, Dictator is in a lot Ooh. of trouble right now. This is tough. Yep. Now, he could run away. In fact, it might be prudent to run away yeah. here. Ooh, Ooh, he just that's teleported. Not that's good. not exactly what he wanted. What he wanted or what's good. So there's there's, there's a bit of a debate about sort of a groove. You, bur you press two buttons, and it allows you to basically activate at any time. You can be jumping, you can be coming in, and it gives you a little bit of window of in invincibility. Which is usually enough to beat throws and some normals. Yeah, some characters can combo, uh, confirm, meaning realize that they, their, their, uh, move, their activation their opening is move. going to guarantee to hit. Yeah. Um, Dictator 
has one of those where he lands the scissor kicks or he jump medium punches and he can basically activate and then continue his combo of ultimate doom. Yep, after the scissor kick is usually like what, like a jab, a standing yes. jab? Some, can, some yeah. players prefer to use the invincibility uh, more risky where they activate in a situation where it's not confirmed to try to blow through or force the opponent to make a mistake. That's what Rusteezy did. It did not work out for him. Yeah, Rusteezy went for a jump in and usually you would want to do something to a jump in like anti-air it. But if yeah. he had activated there and there had been a normal coming out as an anti-air, he would have gone right through and gone a, yeah. free, a free and very fat combo. Yeah, that, that was the mistake that cost the match. But yep. here we go into uh, game two. Yep, uh, he actually switched, put Ken ooh. in against the claw, which is kind of working out here. Um, he is aggressive. Wow. This is done. Absolutely not letting Rusty even breathe completely, ooh. running over claw decisively. Wow. That was that was a statement. He said, okay, you, you hung last time. This this. This is going to be a little bit different. Yeah. Well, Rolento, uh, rather frustrating to deal with if you can't stay on top of him. And it's kind of hard to stay on top of him, but uh, Nakamichi yeah. is doing a pretty good job right now. He's a hit-and-run character. Um, you know, likes to just be annoying. Yep. Uh, you know, he's got that, that high-priority knives and this little pogo stick there. Yep. Oh, oh, nice. Again, so he, Rolento does not have any confirms with a group, so he most likely just randomly activates. Yeah, he's trying to fish there for stuff. However, uh, Rolento does build meter very quickly because both the rolls and the scatter jump. Build both meter. build meter, yeah, but in this case, uh, ate a huge combo from Ken, gonna have to sit in the corner for a little bit. No, gets out. Nakanishi being a bully. Oh, dizzy, dizzy, oh the dizzy, dizzy hung out for a while. Right. Rusty already against the ropes. Yeah, he's down to his last character. This is two out of three. Yep, it's not three out of five. Just because it's a Capcom game in the top eight doesn't yes. mean it's three out of five. All right, so he he does bring Blanca in instead of Dictator. I like the move. I think Blanca does a little bit better against against everybody. Against everybody, especially without meter. Uh, I don't think the damage potential is quite as high. No. However, because he can build a meter himself more easily, yes. he has access to several better tools like roll Here cancel electricity. Oh. Does okay. He does the strong uppercut there. He gets a little bit more time to set up, but he chose to block to bait out this custom. So. Yep. Nice throw there. Ooh. Made him block uh, an electricity to force out some uh, some meter or, or chip him out. Mm -hmm. Wow, funky kick to deal funky with. Uh, He's just showing oh. off now. Nakanishi absolutely dominating that round. Yeah, the entire match so far, Rusty has a really really high hill to climb. Um, and even though Blanca's quite good, it might not be enough. Yes, I mean, he can't slide under fireballs. Well, but roll cancel fireballs. Oh yeah, it's not tough. a great proposition to slide under. All right, this is tough. Oh, nice man, pressure here from Nakanishi. Yep. Ooh. Nice combo there though. Ooh. No. Got his meter. I I think I mean I think that only hits, hits on block and maybe he got the reversal message. Ooh. Yeah, maybe he thought he was closer in the corner, like he was gonna actually not get away oh, enough. Does the oh, and he gets an input error. All right. That's well. Really unfortunate there for Rusty who was looking a little bit better there with Blanca up until that weird rainbow roll. Yeah, he maybe weird. had something happen. Yeah, yeah, there. his Blanca was hanging in there. Um, so I want to, I want to say, like you know, there, there is some, there are arguments on there about the effectiveness of activating in non-guaranteed situations. Uh, I am the one that say you should save it until you can, you can guarantee it. Yep. Uh, and unless. Unless you have not much to lose. Oh. Here we go. Now. But other people other people think that those activations are smart bets. They're saying, well, there's not you can't really the only thing you're gonna lose in that situation is meter because you can you can basically make it a little bit more safe. Uh, and, and if you do get hit early enough, it's not like you lose all your meter, you yes. get like half of it back. Sometimes yeah. a little bit more than half. So the risk resort reward ultimately is in A group's favor. A, yeah. in, in A group's favor for a randomly activating. Alright. So here we go. Here's the match that a lot We've of us have wanted to see. Yeah, a, a, a huge amount of us have wanted to see. Dr. B Galaxy versus Team Strike First Gaming. Galaxy, Dr. B, first of his name, king of the S-Groove. Holy Do crap, that is a long name. Dodger of Normals. Dodger of Normals. <laughs> yes. And so, almost of Brackets. Almost the, almost the Dodger of Brackets. That's for true. That's true. And Justin... Wong. Marvelous. Marvelous Wong. Wong.
Justin, Justin Marvelous J. Wong Wong. I, I don't really think anybody has to uh, introduce have, Justin. Yes, yeah, his pedigree is as long. He has a Wikipedia page. Yeah, his reputation uh, precedes him. Yes, he's already won several tournaments here in the old school room. Alpha 2. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. So uh, I think Dr. Dr. B's trying to figure out, hey, what's my taunt? Oh, and and yeah. Dreamcast, it's hold short kick start. So I want to tell you something. He's trying to figure out his taunt. Justin uses C groove. There's no reason you would ever taunt against C groove. He just wants to know, man. I, I, apparently, it's really important. So we're going to see team weapons. No, no team weapons. Is this team serious? Yes. Claw, Chun, Sagat. Yes. And I, I Oh, did. okay. So Dr. B went for the big gun straight ahead. Yes. So I, when I played Justin, I did not see any character but Vega. But we'll see how it goes. Yikes. S groove has the ability to dodge attacks on its on yep. a thing, and C groove has the ability to cancel supers and air block. Yep. Now, this is kind of a weird match because this is really not that bad. Like of all the S groove teams you're gonna pick, yeah. this is pretty. This is pretty this much is one good. of the good ones. You can't yeah. really challenge that though. Yeah. Nice air throw here by Justin, forcing a rolling crystal. Yeah. Forcing him to block a rolling crystal flash. It's actually really difficult to uh, dodge Vega's normals because they're so fast and so long range that Blanca's dodge attacks actually can't hit Vega. Yep. So he has to like dodge and do nothing, which yes. kind of feels bad when you're playing against Groove because one of the things you like the most are dodge attacks. Now, if he does manage to keep him off of the claw, it's a little bit of a different story. Yeah. So here we go. Oh, so he's actually doing it. He almost got the jump fierce, but a little late on the reaction there. All right. Nice dodge Kits kick. Him. Yes, kicks him with the, the dodge kick. That is a knockdown move. Yep. Uh, uh, level one super, not much. Battle rock. Oh, oh, red impact. Can't dodge in the air, son. Yes. Cannot jump at Justin. Justin's reactions are not to be messed with. Yes, very, very good. He might be old, but he's not that old. Yes. Uh, that, you know, uh, that's one of the sort of weaknesses of S Groove that they don't really have a whole lot that they can do in the air to, to make you think. Oh, he's standing. He's standing and looking at you. Yep. Dr. B happy, I think, here to sort of chill, maybe bait something out of Justin here. Yeah. Went for a dodge and a throw immediately out of it. So, uh, I would say Justin is also famous for his turtle style. Yep. Uh, and this is kind of how Vega is optimally supposed to play. It's really, really lame, uh, defensive, keeping you from doing what you want to do. Yep. And Dr. Rhea does eventually get rid of Claw, but does, it did cost a lot he, of life. He did better than I did. So, Chun Li comes in. Chun Li's very good in this game. And with the uh, with the C groove cancels, she can do a lot of damage yes, in one hit. Yes, she does a ton of damage, especially if you know like the really optimal stuff, mm -hmm. like canceling your the near the end of your super with uh, lightning legs. Yes, he's just doing spinning bird kick on him. Well, because it doesn't actually work that well against A groove because after the short jab, you do actually get to dodge and you can do something about it. But it's not really working out here for yeah. Doctor B. All right. Okay, he's gonna finish the charge. He's got a level three super now, which is uh. Oh, okay. okay. So I, I want to tell, tell your viewers at home, that move is very, very unsafe. It's very, very, uh, you're doing it because you know it's hitting. And if yeah. you yeah. are doing it just on a Hail Mary, it's not, you're going to die. It's not recommended to do that. All right. Chun-Li versus Scott. This is one of chun -Li's best matchups. Uh, it's, I wouldn't say she wins it. It's actually not, again, remember I told you, because of the weird dodging, short jab, uh, spinning bird kick is not a true block string. True block string. But you can make it a true block string if you do short, fierce spinning bird kick. It's a little hard. I, I do it all the time. Yeah, but you're good, and yeah. I am Treshola. <laughs> and so are the people are that I know that play Chun Li. They're not as good as that. Yes, uh, Justin, nice. it. here's go. So that's that's the benefit of dodging, where so you basically. Step out of the way of their attack and then come and back hopefully, with yours. Hopefully, yeah, come with you. And the, the best part about Sagat is that the dodge attack is his standing fierce punch which with roughly the same frame data, but also it knocks you away and gives you a ton of room, which not bad on Sagat. Yeah. Not the worst thing All you right, can. All right, so Justin playing super lame. There's only 30 seconds left. So, oh, this yeah, is Dr. it. Yeah, Dr. Venus makes only oh, level one. Yeah, he doesn't really need much else. I think he's more comfortable having the meter. Okay. Yeah. He does have short hops here. He needs to probably use him a little bit more. Uh, the, oh, the Dr. B well. actually putting some... He's got the level 3. Level 3. Un oh, un he could have anti there. Oh, I guess not because he did come off the wall. Oh, no the, combo. Yeah, isn't able to you know, actually convert the combo there, but it doesn't matter. And here we're going to have a, a very, very big problem with s -Groove. He lost all of his meter. He's going to gain a little bit of life, but not, not enough, enough to take him out. So his meter, yeah, so his meter now charges 
very slowly. Now, this is a funny thing is that it is kind of annoying to deal with dodge even if you're not a dodging Sagat Groove. Yes. Because he gets to dodge, see if you whiff pretty bad, and then pop you in the mouth. It's not yeah. a lot of damage, but yeah. the fact that it takes you out of the right spacing. Yeah. However, if you do catch him messing Ooh, around, that's you just down fierce him. Yep. yep. That's on footsies. Justin looking mad comfortable, flexing. He's looking oh, at the yeah. screen like, yeah. yeah, whatever. Yeah. He's like, that wasn't that wasn't hard. Oof. So he's making some statement here. Justin trying to just trying to be like, yeah, whatever. This guy wanted to money match me. Yeah. Ooh, is Dr. B out thinking himself right now? He needs to not be overthinking himself. You got to, yeah. you got to stay with uh, with what got you here. Yeah, got to got to stay with the horse that brought you. He's going in the tank. By the way, I've seen his recent trailer for his movie. His sea groove is not very impressive. I recommend not going to sea groove. Justin, to stealing a couple All glances right. at the camera. Like, you sure about that? Yeah, he did some Jim Halpert. Oh, at okay. The camera. All right, I am not. Oh, Cammy. I am not. I don't disagree with the option of let's bring in Cammy, who does have better yes. normals out of. She is a better S group character, bar none. Quite because of the roundhouse. Yes. Almost entirely. One now, of her best normals becomes a knockdown. FYI, that's punishable by slide. You yeah. just learned that today. Yeah, it's punishable by a lot of things. It's punishable by existing. So the thing is, it's like there's a lot of S group, this dodging and then the, the, the charging. It looks like you're doing something, but you're really not doing much. Yeah, you are building some meter for no reason, which is... Oh, that's punishable. Yep. Okay, that is uh, not safe, but not you can't really punish it a whole lot with Vega, so... Okay, all right, we just do it, Nike. Yeah, just the slide. I don't... Okay, he does have his... He does have the... Okay, that's a actually kind of clever use there. Dodge, uh, cycle crusher? Yeah, you can because can't. he saw that he was going to push something at it. Mm -hmm. Or he guessed, which is actually yeah. probably more likely. You can cancel the first frames of a dodge attack into a special or a super. Yep. That allows, gives you that ability. But it doesn't give you roll canceling no. uh, invincibility like, you know, yeah. roll does. Now, Claw here ahead. I mean, sorry. Uh, yeah. I keep Because I see, keep seeing Vega, so I want to say Claw. Yeah. It's just built in my oh, brain. Oh, yeah. So. We, oh, nice. okay. So that was cute. Oh. The dodge, dodge punch. Into Psycho Crusher. 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 That is a combo. Yeah. That's so, a, Justin's a, smirking. Justin, yeah. like, oh, okay. All right. All right, you got those. Dr. B uh, tightening up the gameplay just a little bit. Yeah. Not going super crazy, except in the ways that count. Yeah. Nice dodge attack so far to put pressure on Chun-Li. That's, yeah, that's kind of punishable. Oh, oh he's getting thrown. Is he going to get thrown again? Oh, he goes that for a level work. that doesn't do anything. I think maybe his charge got... No, no. He, he likes to do level one supers when he has them, just because he can. But oh. the thing is, is they don't really have a whole lot of priorities or invincibility or, or really much of anything. Yeah. They do a little bit more damage in the move that they're replacing, and it's free. Now it's a good thing that uh, that spiral arrow landed yeah. real, real late because spiral arrow, if you misplace it, is how do you say unsafe? Malo. Yeah. But this is a very, very good match for Cami in general. Like uh, she. Yeah, it's really she, not bad at all. She outranges Chun Li. Has uh, a really good short hop attack. Yep. Uh, really good normals up close. Ooh, oh, no. rare drop from Justin Wong is punishable. Not, not That's me. Not the punish. Damage. Just next time, just press roundhouse. If you don't, if you don't have it tight, just press roundhouse. Yep. Oh, I like that. I like that as a. Oh, did that look safe? Did that look unsafe because I could dodge? Yeah. Nice crouching fears there as an anti air. Uh, Doctor B playing a whole lot better oh. this second round. Justin with another drop. Punish it better this time. Okay, yeah. still could have just standing roundhouse that nice anti throw. So, I just want to say for the viewers at home that might be considering S groove as something to to do. Punching. Those are two missed supers by Justin that were barely punished by by Doctor B because he's an S groove. Yep. All right. Very. He could actually uh, do like roundhouse spin drive smasher right now just to chip him out, and he yeah. didn't even think of that. Didn't even think of it. So in a, in a or match cl or close fierce. Uh, so any match where Justin make two game ending mistakes and you don't win, and that's you don't S win. Groove. Yeah, that's S groove. That's not really like oh Dr. B is not that great. It's just that no, he just doesn't really have the tools to do anything there yeah. other than oh I guess I could kick you. Yeah, and he and, and so he's trying to charge a level one even though he only needs one hit to kill Chun Li. It's it's more of a mind game I find yeah. with Dr. B. He just does it because it's idle time that he's not doing anything else and he yeah. doesn't want to move. Yeah, but he got punished for it like a little bit ago. He, he lost a, a strong because he was trying to charge. Yep. He needs to actually. There's probably yeah. a best a better time to just put pressure. It is kind of annoying to deal with Chun Li 
with Sagat with short yeah. hops because she can just sweep your your short hop uh, yeah. roundhouse with at worst a trade. All right. Ooh, okay. Doctor B looks like he feels like he has life. Uh, he, wants he wants he's the crowd to help him out. He wants the crowd to help him out. Yeah. He's popping off uh, because he got the Justin's last character. No, no. I think I think it's less of a pop off and more of a I want the crowd to you know Interact. come on get excited. Yeah. Yeah. Give me some of your energy. Oh, he's doing. See, like he's Doctor Bean. Yeah, that's just a bait. Yeah, it's, he it's, wants he wants Justin to do stuff, and it does make you feel weird because he is gaining meter for nothing. Yeah. Okay, but I, I like what cost. Yeah. Oh, that okay. Ooh, there we go. Okay, he's making something happen here. That is not punishable. He can just kind of throw those out there. No, that's oh, an anti that's super. Not good. And he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Can't jump at him. Can't jump. No. He's gonna shake his hand. He's gonna oh, shake his hand. He's gonna shake oh. the hand. <laughs> oh my God, Justin! Oh. How are you gonna? Ah, oh, all right, Doctor B, Doctor B, great, being gracious in defeat. Okay, yeah. because he doesn't have a choice. But yeah, that was that was rude. Yeah, that was mean. Did he do that whole? Like, yeah, he went like he went like. Ooh, ooh, I gotta fix my hair. Too cool for school. Uh, too cool for school. Just, I mean, Doctor B still has a chance out of a loser's racket. I don't think. Oh, hello, Pat. Oh yeah, Pat trying to be enormous for the camera. Yeah. Calm down, dude. He's been working out, I think. I think he's been working out his entire life. <laughs> yeah. So that's Combo Breaker 2019, where you can see Justin Wong be real mean to somebody. Yes. Hey, is that was that Sanchez? I didn't. I don't know. So this is uh, Pat. It's gonna be him versus VDO, I believe. And then after that, it's uh, you versus Jamarvelous. Jamarvelous. I I didn't even know that Jamarvelous played uh, CBS2. Well, now they're looking for VDO. They're like, yo, where'd you go, dude? Yeah, I mean, I think I think he's trying to source a mastic <laughs> and sit on the floor. There uh, he is. Did he find one? Yeah. No, no, that doesn't look like a moss. By the way, it's Ooh. not that bright. And you, for the percentage of people that are wearing sunglasses, it's not that bright in here. It's bright where we are because we have light shining directly in our faces. They're correct. But overall, the ball the ballroom is dim. Uh, video is the kind of cool guy that wears sunglasses at night. I'm. I'm, I'm Look at him. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's cool. I mean, see, this is this is the match that you would want to like have like the old shirtless matches as opposed to Punko and whoever. Yeah, else yeah. yeah. Like if this was a shirtless match, you'd be all right with it. Yeah. They're both fit. They're both yeah. fit. I think they both do martial arts. Mm -hmm. uh, Pat is Pat is Pat is a big big boy. Yeah, strong boy. So video video is is lean lean killing machine. And let, let, let's talk about the match instead of their physiques a little bit. I mean, so we know that Patrick plays K. We saw him uh, yesterday. Yeah. Doesn't have a huge character pool, but likes uh, three characters that are annoying and two characters that like to brawl. Claw, Athena, and Nakuru, all yeah. of them kind of run away, annoy you to death characters. Yes, he is from Northern California. Yes, that is. That's how you know. And yeah. then Sagat and Kyo, both characters that would like to get engaged into a match of fisticuffs. Yes. Although Sagat a little bit more of a spacey, you know, try to like take my space sure. kind of player. Video and Kyo really just trying to hit you with some some frame traps yeah. and murder you initially. And, and video is from uh, Texas by way of, uh, I think we, you used to live in Michigan a long time ago. And yeah, basically he's going to pick a bunch of SNK characters. There's Terry. Oh, P. Don't Terry. Don't do it. Perry Don't Terry. Don't do it. Oh, no. he picked Perry Terry. Zangief's coming out. We got Geese. All right. All so right. Now, Geese actually a really, really scary user of yes, P-Groove. Very Because good. just like in K-Groove, he can stun you in a combo. Yeah, I always, uh, by the way, I went on a big diatribe about this. It seems like over 50%, maybe upwards of 75% of P-Group players love them some Terry effing Bogart. Yeah, yeah, and they also, they love they love uh, Fatal Fury in general, so you do see some geese. Yes. Now, uh, VDO, knowing that Psycho Ball, not exactly a great fireball when it comes to startup, yeah. and more than willing to just jump over it if he's at the right distance, to hit Athena in the face. Yeah. However, uh, that sort of started to uh, wear out here a little bit, taking a lot of damage for no reason. Yeah, so. Oh, that could have been an anti air shining crystal bit. Oof. So, P Groove um, basically gives you the option to parry, to bypass a an opponent's attack. Yep. Like, it's almost like a better version of S Groove's dodge because it allows you to create whatever your counter attack was. Mm -hmm. However, it's more difficult to do because you have to precisely time a forward press as your opponent is attacking. And it's not like a huge window, like in Third Strike, which is yeah. actually kind of generous. It's like, how many frames? Like, six? Six. Ten? Yes. Yeah, it's real small. Yes. And it's like in, in Third Strike, it's eight, and that might not seem like a lot, but yeah. it is. And uh, K Groove is basically like. Pay, uh, 
Peak Groove, but the opposite because you block instead of press forward. And, and that is just defense. Correct, but it, and it also doesn't afford you the same advantages. While you do get a little bit of better uh, uh, guard stun, uh, really the advantage is that you build this meter for it and Very you're just so much stronger. Yeah. BDO is just going ape ah. right now. The just wild and out on this dude. So that, that was like a short jump fierce. I know that does an instant overhead Nakaruru. Like, she's one of the shortest characters in the game. But it worked anyway. I like it. All right, Sagat. Sagat probably beats this entire team. And yes. This, this is not over, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. This is k Roof Sagat. k Sagat is uh, known for notorious comebacks like Empty Hop, uh, <laughs> Low low Hot Foot. Yeah. Uh, so, Zangief is really bad against Sagat. It's like... Well, p p Groove Keep is bad. I think uh, if he had roll canceling, he'd be able to do okay. But basically, whenever you have a bad matchup with Peak Groove, you solve the bad matchup by, by trying to parry everything and land a combo. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Now, uh, Sagat really can't jump, though, at Zangief because the Russian skies are protected so yes. long as that meter is Ooh. there. That is very good. Patrick Miller finds time to clap in between that. Yes. Oh, that could have been it. Drops super right after that. Goes uh, for the hot foot. That's going to do a lot of chip. Could have just uppercut there yeah. if he felt frisky. Yeah. Nice. Didn't do it this time. Waited so, for him to land. Yeah. So that's the thing about peak group players. They always want to parry. So basically, you start playing the mind game. I know you're going to parry, so I'm going to do something. That beats it. That beats it. So he waits till he lands. Oof. And just throws it. Oh. All right. So for those of you who don't know, if yeah. Geese lands a clean hit it's, it's and gets over. to do super, Sagat is dead. Oh. Doesn't doesn't take the that's a very punishable move. Oh, but oh he went for super. it. He went for it. Okay, this time went for a short hop. Ooh. Okay, so Geese does have the trouble. Geese is in danger because Geese. Oh, okay, when you're at oh no punish. Oh man, didn't have time. Recovered just in time. Sagat always in it. Oh, gets the nice uppercut. Tiger. Oh, he thought he was gonna parry. This time he actually went and did a move. Oh, it's dangerous. Went for a round number uppercut. Oh, oh, down to Scott Perry last minute. Geese hangs on. VDO winning the first game. I oh, tell you, man. That was stressful. I tell you, VDO did not want to win that match. He didn't want it. Like, there might have been like three or four times where he had the ability to combo into uh, Geese's super, the Deadly Rave, which does a lot of, a lot of damage, and basically end it. But he chose to, to combo into Sweep instead. I do think maybe he sweep. wasn't really looking for it. At the yeah. time, he was just kind of trying to like get him off. So he was looking for a block screen that ended in Sweeper Pukin. Yeah. And because he got the sweep anyway, he was like, oh, well, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Because sometimes, you know, you're trying, you're thinking like, oh, yeah, 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 this is a thing, an option I clearly should be going for. Sure. But sometimes you're like, but I kind of want to go for the safe option here and maybe not die. Kyo versus Terry. Yep. So he switched it up a little bit, moved uh, Kyo to the front. I think Kyo probably a better, a better option here in general, but... Terry is a little bit annoying with dashes. His dash is crazy fast. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's got some movement to it. Yeah. I mean, the, the thing is just like, you know, I, I, I can. He's obviously very good with Terry. Terry, Terry. Oh. I get it. You, we, no, we all know that that standing Stand roundhouse house had a super behind it that didn't come out. Yes. You saw his arms wiggle and everything. Oh, oh hey, is. maybe don't wake up on top of fire. me, man. I made a fire. Nice parry there. Okay. I'm actually surprised I haven't seen any down forward roundhouse here from Kale. Yeah. It is a little bit of an annoying move to deal with. Especially even. with parry. You can't you have to parry. Parry twice and it's like an awkward timing, yeah. yeah. Gets a little bit of life back. Oh, right. catches a standing roundhouse yeah. right to the mouth. So here's the thing though. If you can basically take out this little bit of, of Terry, uh, he'll be fur way further ahead than he was last match. Yeah. And we saw how much damage this Sagat did last match. So here we Yep. Oh, there okay. Goes. That was worth it. He's yeah. going to get all that life back. Uh, he doesn't keep the K-Groove, obviously. Actually, no, yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Yes, he does, because the it is K-Groove, not S-Groove. Yes. Yeah, S-Groove, so. whack. K-Groove, not whack. Yeah, basically. So, um, with... Uh, this is way more... Oh, hey, hold on. Maybe that's not that bad. I don't know. He's going to get some parries oh. and stuff. Hold on. I actually... I don't know anything about this matchup. I can, like, extrapolate from knowledge that I already have, but... Yeah, I feel yeah. like that might be a little bit dangerous, because if he parries it early enough... Yeah, but does he know the uppercut timing? Uh, I think it's just basically the same, right? Oh, wow, just teleport out of the corner. Why not? Yeah, and then, like, you can't probably can't parry out a shiny crystal bit either. Oh, he could have. I feel like. Ooh, that, that hurts. You know what it is? He's keeping the meter because the down fierce is it's, way more damaging. That's hilarious. Oh. Teleport into throw. That's the old Nice. Setup. 
parries there from VDO, but manages to only get a throw that gets teched away. All right, so Geef pushing the, the envelope, Athena running away. Nice little fake Phoenix arrow, uh, just so you can get the down fierce, and all of a sudden Athena looking mighty strong. Yeah, so, so Athena t took out all of Zangief basically there, and now has Geef to, to, to go against. Geef probably wants to go for the, the Deadly Rave as soon as possible, just to wrap up this match. Yep. Oh, nice. However, uh, here's one thing that uh, kind of sucks. The, no that down fierce kind of beats a lot of these options. Yeah, it goes under his that, that roundhouse kick of his. It goes under way too many things. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> that <laughs> button is so annoying. I'm not even playing, I'm frustrated. Yeah, it is It is tough. Oh, nice. Again, Geese <sighs> had an opportunity oh, there. It doesn't get something out. Oh. Oof. Wake up, Shiny Kusabut. Yeah. Yep, called it. Oh. oh! Have you ever threaded the needle? Yes. It's like, nah. Get out of here. Basically, he punched through the spinning blades. Yeah, he's like, yeah, that's nice you got knives around you, but have you ever got punched in the face? Bop. Bang. All right. So we, Ooh, had, we saw this okay. last time. That was, uh, I sweated that one a little bit. <laughs> Sagat does pretty well against Geese. See how he, yeah, he, I mean, he gets a parry. He's, oh, okay. oh, wow. All right, sure. Anti-air fireball. Why not? It's 2019. We live in a new world. Okay. Oh, that always feels punishable to me. Nice. Does a small uppercut because he knows that if he parries it high enough, all right. But he's going to land in time. And Patrick that's Miller. A, by the way, that's a problem with P-Group. Yeah. They the have a, bar? So basically that green bar under the yellow bar is the guard bar. As you yeah. take, as you basically block attacks, it gets reduced. When, it's, when it gets down to empty, you get a blowback. You are vulnerable for split second. That's or what like, happened yeah, there. For like a whole second, right? Yes. Like it's like a long time. The two grooves that have the ability to sort of uh, to bypass attacks, P-Group and uh, K-Group, uh, with the Just Defense and Parry, they actually get reduced guard bars. K Grooves is not quite that bad, no. surprisingly enough. I think it's like it's uh, it's like a little bit worse than C. P Groove is eighty percent, and and uh, K Groove is uh, ninety percent. But what if what if you brought a sword yep. to a street fight? Yep, Har that is, Yeah, that is a question video is trying to answer. Right? Another P Grooves champion. Even though Terry was doing work, he he does still have Terry, but he's now in the middle. So he doesn't have to deal with this kill because I guess video feels that oh, yeah, it's a little easier. Oh yeah, that's that's some that's the silliness. Yeah, he put he put Geef on the bench. Yep. Good call. Good call. He Although right now right now not doing quite so bad. Yep. Oh. I feel like that was Ooh, ah, wow, wow, wow. don't get hit the by big those. Slash. Don't embrace death. This is not the game to be yes. embracing death in. Shinju. Oh, I also forgot that Halmaru Dash is wacky fast for no reason. Yeah. Like it is deceptively fast. He just steps forward all of a sudden. Ooh. So is Kyo just going to go for a Hail Mary Super? Yep. Let it rip. It's safe. Yeah. Oh. So. Patrick Miller. Yeah, Har Harmar does that. See, let's see how Harmar does against the down force. The down fierce. Yep. Uh, pretty well. Yes. If, pretty uh, well. if you catch her pressing it like kind of uh, nonsensey, yep. you die. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's a it's a big swing though. Jeez, look, look at the guard bar. That's yeah. another thing, right? Like that fierce punch. You can't take too many. You can't block too many of them either. You gotta yes. like not let them do. It. Okay, goodbye. Hello. You could have just done it again, dude. Yes. Oh. Okay. Woohoo. You sweat that one. A little bit. You could have just taken another fierce. You'd be like fierce. Oh, your guards out. Another fierce. Yeah. Enjoy. It's good <laughs> damage. Why not? It also right. does a crazy amount of stuff. So like Perry comes. Uh, Perry Terry. I hate you. And he did it. Nice little hop uh, to crossover. The crossover on the ground. Uh, grounded body mix-ups. Does, does some more happen? Yeah, and I mean, like, Terry did do a lot more work against Athena the first time. Uh, Pat just not really having any answers for this. Wake up, Shiny Crystal, but maybe no nope, Dizzy instead. He's going to take a lot of damage. Are you okay, oh. Buster Wolf? He spent it. Why not? Well, I mean, I believe if if he just did the Buster Wolf, it would have been maybe... You mean the Burn Knuckle? Burn Knuckle, yeah. I don't I think mean, it would have killed. You no, know, it would have been one left, but, like, that's a full... Level three. Mm, All right. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like sometimes Sagat. it's just better to finish your plate, especially because he feels really confident in this matchup, as we saw earlier. Yeah. Sagat is the problem, though. So you, when you know sometimes you want to, like, take less damage that's on the table for strategic region reasons. Oh, man. I'm sweating this one. Did oh, it? no. Anti-air super. I feel like there was an anti-air super in there oh. somewhere. Just hopped it for the chip. Ooh, uh, that doesn't work against Terry. Work. He's kind of short. I know he's a real big manly boy, but yeah. kind of short. By the way, 
there were two different instances where uh, BDO got the close fierce. Um, and they didn't cancel. Well, he would if he had the super, he would have been able to land the super there. So yeah, but hey, listen, he did a little bit of work, which is yeah. sometimes all you need. Geese right now is gonna have almost a full stick of butter just yep. in a moment. Feels more like a full bottle of shampoo considering that color. Honestly, here we go. We got one one last last fight here. Sagat is raged. Oof. Who is going to advance? Oh, didn't did a crouching fierce maybe a little bit too early there. Force oh, him to just, block it. Yep. I don't know if I agree with that. It's, there's nothing else to do. He's, he's running out of it. Might as well make him block it. Oh, nice jumping fears after the parry. Yeah, that was great. Good good parry there. So um, that is it. So I will be stepping aside. I am uh, up on the stream. So hopefully I don't completely embarrass myself. And you know, I, think you'll be be I think you'll do fine. Good Take luck, sir. Care. All right. Take care See of yourself. Second. We'll have uh, Chris, uh, Team Chris come up here and join me in just a moment. Just, uh, yeah, there you go. And uh, just want to give some shout outs to all of you watching right now. Thank you for joining us once again to Combo Breaker 2019. Capcom vs. SNK2 Top 8. I am now joined by Team Chris, Chris Bauman, my boy from South Florida. How you doing, my guy? That's right. You know, you and me doing a big Sabado Gigante Sabado Gigante. Yeah. Estamos aquí en Combo Breaker. Anyways, uh, it got really I like hot. It, I, like it. I got really hot, so I took off this thing and my hair is doing a thing. Hold on a second. Do it. Just let him know. Let it wave. Go with the wind. Show your energy, your emotion. Oh, just like that. Yeah. And, uh, anyways. Um, shout outs to Pat the Flip, man. Coming up short on that wild geese chase. Oh, dude. Um, I'm, I'm a big so fan of the guy's online articles, by the way. Did you guys plug his Patreon? No. Uh, See, look at that. I'm, he, however, uh, he does write a lot of articles that he posts on his Medium. Medium.com slash Pat the Flip. He does write a lot of articles. If you're trying to get into fighting games, Pat the Flip is probably one of the best people to start uh, reading on because he has a lot of insight into basically what makes us as fighting game players tick. Yeah, and especially his last article, Why which We is about, Fight. Yeah, Why We yeah. Fight. Like It's a, an article literally about motivation. And maybe you're thinking about, that sounds really boring. Why am I going to read this? Sounds like a college course. It's not. They're short articles. They're good for, you know, you sh if you want to, like, it's good look to at yourself. Yeah, it's good to remind yourself to find your why in these tough yeah. situations in your journey coming up as a fighting game player. Agreed. But likewise, on the other side of the screen, VDO busting out that pee groove. and I can't yo. believe he went to Hallmaru. He saw this matchup and went, you know what I need in this matchup? I'm a fan of Hallmaru. A sword? Man. Yo, all about that. Especially Pat the Flip trying to, uh, Patrick trying to JD the sword. It's kind of like catching it like no, with his hands. No, please like don't. That. Listen, I just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I got you. just Listen, to give just you guys down, an update right now. Um, so the next match is our boy Robin here, who not only made it in the t also made it in the top eight of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle tur Tournament Fighters. In 2019, by yeah. the way. I just want to throw that out there. And he almost made it to the top eight of Super Turbo. He's doing great. But right now, his opponent, Jamarvelous, is currently qu trying to qualify for the top eight on the other stream in Third Strike. So yeah. we're and keeping you updated there. It's a Chun-on-Chun -chun matchup, so it's, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, yeah, we're, you know, that Infinity Stone back fierce, and, you know, we're we're throwing medium kicks under the table like the book, good book of footsies tells yeah, us to. Yeah, the good book of footsies said, do thou medium kick, and thou shalt be rewarded. Exactly. With the Hoyoku Sen. Yeah, but it looks like that match is finishing up, so we're going to be started up to get you some CVS2 action with Renegade versus Jamarvelous. Yeah, yeah. but first off, we're going to cut to a quick ad. Oh, we're gonna, absolutely. We're going to yeah. shout outs to our sponsors, so give us a little bit, guys. We'll be right back. Hey. Oh, I didn't see you there. Sorry. Um, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more Combo Breaker 2019 in just a little bit. Oh. Network. 
Hopefully you've been enjoying Combo Breaker 2019, but the fighting game action does not stop there. Next weekend, May 31st through June 2nd is DreamHack Dallas. You can see all the fighting games listed over on the right side of the screen. And if you'd like to sign up now, there's a 10% discount on tickets with the code COMBOBREAKER19. If you're a bit bored during these combo breaker breaks, why don't you check out Duck Game, available now on the Switch. You can pop it out, play on the plane while you're headed over to another event. 24% discount, $9 and some change. Now available, it's been out on Steam for a while. Check it out. Hey, FGC, it's Duck Game! Adult Twin's duck-based multiplayer has finally arrived on Nintendo Switch. Play it with friends. Play it alone. Play it everywhere. Now for Nintendo Switch. And holy duck, it's on sale now! If you want to unleash the beast and play to your optimum level, check out one of these Hitbox controllers. You can take control and find them now over at hitboxarcade.com. If you want to level up your execution, check out the Paradise Arcade Shop Magenta. It's silent, it's precise, it's fantastic. You can find it over at pasmagenta.com.
If you're heading to Combo Breaker 2019 or any other majors on the tour, you of course want a stick and bag for it, which you can pick up over at Quamba USA. There's a code now for 10% off site-wide using code CB2019. It expires next Friday, so go ahead and take this opportunity to pick up something over at Quamba. I hope you don't have any beef with the commercials we've been taking here at Combo Breaker 2019, but we gotta get paid somehow. Thanks to all the lovely people that helped make Combo Breaker happen. In case you didn't know, that's the Italian beef. Uh, probably dipped, it could be extra gravy, with the sweet peppers. And I just found out that it's pronounced portillos and not portillos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was the mix-up for me the first time, too. Yeah, you know, I'm born in Venezuela, so those kind of things Yeah, happen, I'm, I'm half Mexican, half Cuban, all nonsense, you know, and what, therefore... I, I just, I, you know, shout out to CJ, man, and the ability to eat, like, 12 times he has weight eaten sandwiches. So he's <laughs> eaten so many sandwiches. <laughs> it's Anyways, guys, Jamarvelous on the left. Jamarvelous, I Harumaru. didn't get to catch the groove he picked, but that's... That's Palmaro, looking like a K-Groove selection right there. <laughs> I don't know yet. We're about to find out. Oh, it's an S&K Groove for sure. It might be P. Yeah, this this smells like this smells like a P. Yeah, this smells like a P team. Renegade, though, is an N, is an N player. K-Groove, okay. That's a K. Renegade K rocking the N-Groove. Vice is really good with the N-Groove. I mean, yeah, Vice is considered like a mobile grappler. Like, in the spirit of that, going full screen, watch your step. Yeah, I mean, she's got a lot of good moves uh, that are roll cancelable. The roll cancel grabs are very nice. The roll cancel shoulder is excellent. And I um, love the, the Goonie skull that comes after that corner yeah. power bomb. Also, oh, don't get hit by Raged Fierce. Yeah, that cold It's steel. like, look at all that work you did, and, and Halmer almost negated it in a single strike. Now, Vice. Well, that's Sam Show. Vice, Yori, Chun. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Vice, Yori, and Chun Li is a good end groove team. Is a kind of uh, a team with three different characters that can really uh, get a lot out of running and roll canceling and who have all right level one supers, honestly. Oh, gets nice instant air legs, for lack of a better reference. I mean, instant air legs is the name to call it. Instant air, air slashes, if you want to call them. Yep, Vice but getting it done. And yeah, going back to Engroove, I mean, a lot of people say that it's like, it's the true form of Iori because you get all the tools that he can make to his yep. disposal. You do get the you get the optimal version of the uh, of the roll cancel recas, uh, also because you have the, the buttons are great. The alpha counter is great. The alpha roll is and great because roll. his roll is excellent. It's he excellent. has access to the roll. And just uh, he has a lot of fun pop tricks, too. There's just a lot of good things about Eniori. Yeah. The run, also excellent. Ooh, nice Ooh, kick here. with but the Tatsu, but yeah, that looked less than a Category 1 on that damage. Yeah, the, the damage on it is never good because pops him up if you do it as an anti-air. Oh, nice cross up there. Ooh. Now Renegade's been sitting on a full on a full stock. Got those three balls. Yeah, ready. but he wants to wants to keep him for Yuri, honestly. Okay. Yeah, Vice doesn't see have to use meter. Um, she has a lot of middling damage options just for existing. And uh, if you don't have to spend the meter, then you don't need to. Yeah. We got mustard Yuri right here. Yeah, indeed. Now when you My power up on that end groove, it does give um, you a 120. It gives you a. Um, a 20% damage bonus, yeah, but also you can use that guard canceling as well. Yeah, the guard canceling, uh, the guard cancel roll, one of the cooler features out of N, honestly, because uh, you could punish some stuff outright with the guard cancel roll. It is, on, especially with Yori, who's yeah. has such a fast one. Yeah, and he could just instant like, 
it's really good at whiff punishing as well, like going through longer pokes and then you're able to connect. And then yeah. it, if you can land yourself within like um, crouching short range into the Maiden Master, it's a really yep. good place to be. Oof. And also, Yori just has pretty excellent buttons on the ground. Crouching yeah. fierce, standing fierce. Uh, oh, here we go. We, we pop. He got yeah. it. He gets the. He does the the reckless here because the damage might as well take it. Uh, so many good normals with which to force that the reckless short hop here. Roundhouse on that low crush game. Yep. A one. Yeah, you can't can't punish with that. Yeah, Jamarvel has tried to look sta establish a rave there, a no. deadly rave. But it looks like uh, he's got a really. JK rush very punishable. Yep. Down medium punch into reckless. It's looking very straightforward with Renegade with a great performance here so far. Up 1-0. Doing really easy work, I think, of Jamarvelous. Jamarvelous kind of struggling with any answers here for uh, for Renegade's hulking Engroove team. We didn't even get to see Chun-Li. I'm a huge fan of Engroove Chun as well. I mean, she's a good character. You're a fan of Chun-Li in general. I don't know why you're trying to add like a, like a, like a qualifier to that one. No, nah, because I love her... Um her run stops shenanigans, especially with those close uh, proximity normals as well with Yori and Chun. Yep. I mean, it's it's a guard. You gotta really look out for those guard breaks. Yep. Renegade uh, out of the playing out of the DMV, um, a lot, which still has a lot of active uh, and strong CBS two players. Uh, oh my oh, God, on the free jump. Yeah. That does so much. Yes. Oof. See, Ooh, that's the guard one roll. of the reasons why guard roll can be so useful, especially against characters like Haomaru, who uh, recover in something like eight years after you block that Pierce. No, well, that's typical of uh, Samurai Showdown. It's not. It's a game that really punishes oh, no. for punishing. Oh, no. Oh, I sweat that one. Oh, I felt that too. That level three is damning. It's, I think it's because that might have worked with, on someone with like a slower hop uh, or a full jump, but that wasn't a full jump. That was just a short hop. Renegade right now trying to put away this Halmar with not a whole lot of life. Nice roll, cancel, oh, shoulder move. charge. Goes for a combo here, nothing. Gets the K-Groove meter at least. So even if he doesn't manage to finish this one up, he still has a chance. Oh, what was that? But still comes in with the Ori, now has the full stock. But, and Jamarvelous is not going to get much life left. I would Almost be surprised done. if he even doubles up. Right there. Yep. Yeah, right there. Just rolls in throw because that is a thing that sometimes you do. That is an oh, ugly yeah. version of Yori. I don't know what the hell buttons he pressed for that color, but he needs to never push him again. Yeah, he's like, uh, that's looking like because the gold with one the, he's is blending with the grass. I think the gold hair is the three kicks. I think yeah. this one might be the three punches. I don't know. He's blending with the grass. I can't really see him in Kinder Dish. Oh, that was nice. Standing, yeah, standing his jab, close standing, standing heavy is so disgusting. You can link it from a crouching jab too, yeah. or a close jab. Yeah, nice. I, mean, I remember that jab. from uh, KOF 98, how disastrous it was. Yep. Ugh. Oh my god. Um, can we get a can we get a doctor for this man? Because he, uh, he got hit. Yeah, he got hit hard. He and got I, hit hard. I'm to him getting mixed up by this faded manic panic looking hairstyle. <laughs> uh oh. Down medium punch into Rekka's combo. We did a sweep. I guess he was trying to look for a wake up a roll there. Because uh, Jamarvelous has been shown to want to do it. Roll cancel Rekka's just a disrespect. Renegade right now kind of playing with his food a little bit. Man, but the damage Geese gets when he's Crouching up. sweep. He knows that he's not going to punish the crouching sweep. He's already kind of let him go with it several times. Standing uh, jab Jamarvelous fierce. looking like he was trying to do the counter with the half circle back. But Renegade blew it up in a different direction. I think right now in general just Jamarvelous is just not having any answers for the kind of stuff that Renegade's putting out. Finally uses the Deadly Rave there, but it's a little bit of too little too late. 52 seconds left in the actual match, which means he's going to get almost like maybe a jab's worth of health back. Yeah, but I really wanted to see like a complete Deadly Rave one day. It's not, probably not going to happen in this match. Chun-Li right now can just get to move forward as much as she wants. Yeah, one crouching strong will finish it all off. Ooh, or a crouching counter. sweep to Kikosho. Ooh, low profiles Throw, with the He's bird. almost dead. Yep. Standing medium punch, please shake my hand. That's what Chun-Li was saying and also what Renegade said there at the end. Jamarvelous eliminated rather quickly, unfortunately, yeah, for him. Renegade moves on. He will face off against VDO. Uh, I don't think quite yet. I think he will actually be playing oh, right, the loser the of... The loser loser yes, of yes. And I don't have the bracket right in front of me. I but believe I, it's going to be Dr. B. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Let's uh, let's take a look at uh, maybe possibly we can get take a look quick look at the bracket. 
Yes. Get some I names here updated. Here. here we go. So the next match for uh, VDO yeah, it's gonna will be Dr. B. And uh, the match for Renegade will be Rust Easy. I'm actually really hoping to see Renegade versus uh, Gout Dr. B. So we're going to actually go right into VDO versus Dr. B, which is going to be an interesting match. Mm -hmm. uh, P Groove versus S Groove. Loving this guy's use of the parries too, man. Both of them are too cool and therefore wear shades inside of a ballroom at night, what, as you can see. Of course, especially with that lighting. I mean, the lighting doesn't even affect them quite that much. It's just kind of like a, stash, uh, a fashion statement. I was going to say a stash and face facement because uh, I feel you on that. that's where I am right now. That's where I am right now in life. I'm there too. Yo, by the way, shout outs to Justin Wong, by the way, in that match in winners. Like, the clock control was absolutely on point. Anytime Dr. B won a round, he got nothing back in health. Yep, a lot of Justin like, Wong. Like, even when he popped off too. after eliminating the first of Justin's team, I'm looking there in the back like, he's not going to get much love in the next round, though. I mean, no, maybe not. But, I mean, Dr. B had plenty of opportunities to actually finish his plate there against Justin that he couldn't partially right. because he's an S-group player and therefore doesn't have access to a level three super with which to do work with and also partially because he just doesn't like there were just like some decisions that didn't quite go his way so right now to be able to stay in the bracket he's gonna have to play against vdo and shout outs to these character uh, variants that we're seeing in the top eight Cena now uh, vice uh, terry kyo yeah the names uh i think uh, it's a video on the left with terry zangif and geese and on the right, it should be Ga uh, Dr. B Galaxy with Blanca, Bison, and Sagat. And video, yeah, video on the first player side. Ready to play, trying to, you know, they're, they're having a little bit of a friendly chat here before the round. Uh, both uh, old school players, old, old timey players. Indeed, indeed. I'm curious to see what P Groove Zangief can do. Uh, not much yeah. is the answer to that, but my we're issue with see. P Groove is I feel the meter burns, too, the builds too slow. It, uh, it is not the, a very fast building meter, but since it's a meter that you can hold on to, that is a, it's a, is a trade that you're taking. Now, Blanca S-Groove does get to build meter kind of quickly if you kind of let it. Uh, and dodge attacks are frustrating for players who are not willing to get up close. Uh, I think it's easier for characters with uh, runs to deal with. Uh, Direct lightning. Yep. But that's easy to happen. I mean, you're going to get level threes free in S-Groove. No, nah, but you get very few of them. Very rarely. In fact, there's times where you never get to use your level three. Because you die before no, you can even. Ones. I mean, sorry. Well, yeah, before yeah. you even get to your level three. Yeah. Uh, you, sometimes you can die. Yeah. Sometimes you were at half health. You ate something huge. You never got to see your low life. Yeah, and you which have feels to bad. Get the yep. But early in the match, I mean. Now a thing that Doctor B likes to do is this uh, tapping on charge, which builds almost no meter, but it is kind of like a weird fake out, faint sort of deal. It just make mentally. Your mental reaction wants to do something. Yep. Oh, I thought he had the direct no, lightning. If you, no, if you do the direct li uh, lightning roll, you do actually get stuffed. Level 1s have very, very bad invincibility. Mm. Very bad uh, priority. It's just not a great not great moves at times, or most times. Mm. That was a good dodge there. Nice cross-up electricity there from Dr. B. The video sitting on a full meter. Yep, Dr. B playing pretty lame right now, which is kind of like what you have to do in CBS2 to stay ahead. Playing a little bit with his food too here. Slide there from Dr. B. Nice air to air with jumping fierce. Nice air to air with the up ball. All right, the crouch fierce. A few pixels away from being able to get a level three. Nice oh, good parry. parry. Into the super. And he goes for the chokes. Oh! Now, Caught the man in the air with the salt throw. Now, that was very good. The Russian skies were protected there. Very good stuff there from VDO, but uh, oh, a lot of meter for very little life back. He's going to have to find some way to deal with Bison. Bison has a lot of punishable stuff, as you can see. Uh, uh, Psycho Crusher punishable by crouch fierce. Crouching Fierce. A lot of characters Crouching Fierce, actually. Ooh, if he had parried that, yeah, that would have been a lot of meter and maybe an opportunity to do something to Dr. B's Bison, but nothing doing. We're going to go straight to Geese versus Bison here. I love how um, Bison's scissor kick goes over the Rapukins. It's like something Bison has never done in a Capcom game or would ever get the opportunity to do. Yeah, because uh, SNK really likes their fireballs to crawl on the ground sometimes. That gets standing fierce. Punish yep. again. 
Not going to have that happen free. Dr. B wasn't charging there after the dodge, which means that he doesn't get a, a follow-up uh, Psycho Crusher after the standing medium punch, or rather, after the standing dodge punch. Wow, okay, oh, really video Boy, was kind of, courageous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no need to feel courageous against that. Gets done again. It's, uh, video has a problem which is what most oh. P group, the, the same problem most P group players have, which is you want to style. I have a parry, so you want to do it. You want to style, man. It's just the power of the parry compels you. You just want to do it. I feel it. It just right. makes you feel good when you do it, and it works. Oh, but the crowd wants it, man. The people want it. They want to see those multi hits going down. Catch as catch can. But I mean, yo, this this is about the money, man. It's about something right now. If, so. he just, if he just sat back and blocked a little bit, it could have been a whole different story right there. I mean, pairing a level three super psycho crusher, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's lit. <laughs> so here we go. Blanca right now, commanding lead over Terry here. Just building meter. Yeah, and he's not gonna get any meter, like you mentioned, just throwing out that lightning. It's just, uh, it yeah. just looks cool. Yeah, I mean, he's trying to get little chunks of meter, but it's just not a whole lot, and it's not because of the meter gain. It's because part of it makes people wanna do stuff. Oh, good side switch into the close standing fierce. Her knuckle. Oh, the crack shot came close, but Blanca stand roundhouse gives him the business. Dr. Now Yamazaki. Dr. Beast, two characters away from advancing to the loser semis. Now Yamazaki is a pretty good P Groove character. He's one of the one of the more solid in my opinion, even though he loses oh, yeah. out from some of the roll cancel abilities, like roll cancel uh, sand kick, which is very strong. He does gain a lot of options with uh, out of a parry because he does do a lot of damage off parry combos. He absolutely does. He's got some really good normals to work with, too, especially yep. that Stan Roundhouse. Stan Roundhouse is Crouching one of the... Crouching Fierce is a really good anti-air as well. Like, he keeps oh. trying to parry stuff, which is not, in my opinion, something you should be trying to do here. He could punch that. Stan Roundhouse, Stan Roundhouse I mean, again. Dr. Stuff B him. just hit him with a full screen direct lightning. Yep, Dr. B now also starting to get into that play with your food mentality, which I don't think is why in tournament. But you know, I'm over here sitting at the commentator's desk. I'm not the one playing, so. Yeah, but these guys trying to get that bread. I mean, who are they looking to impress? The viewers. Okay, man. Hey, sometimes when you're playing the old school games, what you're really playing is no longer for, like, you're not playing for the money anymore. In a lot of these old games, you're no longer really playing for the money. You're playing because you're playing you want to be stylish. Nice scissor kick there from... Dr. Video is down to his last character right now. Video right now with Geese. A lot of people right now in the chat clamoring for a comeback. Another fight of Dr. B against Justin Wong. Let's see if let's see if Dr. B can make it all the way back. But right now he has to get, to get past this this Geese, which is actually looking quite strong right now. Yeah, it's finally nice standing his ground. Well, he yep. caught a scissor there. And if you can see, he takes like micro step back, steps back because he is charging. And that lets him sort of stay in the same place while standing. It's kind of weird. What Our level one super is not very good. That. Dr. B with his yeah, eclectic well, style. Jab, 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 roundhouse. Wants to just, wants to not spend the meter. Nice jab there to stuff the... Oh, oh but that's so close to the kill. Oh, went Ooh. for a single coat of paint. Not enough to take him out. The devil's yeah, banished. Chips him out with yep. the head stomp. The devil banished not enough to chip out, but still no threat from VDO towards Dr. B, possibly in that whole match. Dr. B looked comfortable the entire time mm -hmm. and takes it quite convincingly. And next up, we're going to have our own renegade, Robin Palm against Rasteezy. Rusteezy, sorry. Rusteezy from Michigan, USA. Yeah, Rusteezy was, uh, man, he really got worked in the first round by Naganishi. He looked, and he looked like he was trying, actually, he looked like he was kind of figuring it out a little bit there in the first time against Naganishi, but then 
in the second game, Nakanishi made just a couple of adjustments, like putting Ken up front to deal with the claw. Mm -hmm. And that was basically all he needed. It felt like he realized that um, that Rustizi does not know the Shoto versus Claw matchup, which in my opinion is really bad for Shotos. And I think the yeah. common uh, the common knowledge would be that the matchup is really bad for the Shotos. And yet, just showing like I an mean, absolute clinic, total pressure dude, and domination. He had unconventional wisdom that was wisdom. It was wisdom. I mean, it was like some galaxy brain type stuff, making Ken really look viable in that situation. Uh, yeah, I mean, he has options, right? Ken is of the Shotos that you kind of want to have in that option. Probably right. the one you. Uh, I mean, he even hit want? that Sean kick. That awkward reverse DP anti uh, overhead kick. Hey, <laughs> he was every now and then, every now and then you gotta go Murata and kick a man in the head. So I'm actually a fan of wanting to see that kick in other for Capcom games. I mean, yeah, it was a fun kick. It was a weird thing to give him, right? But hey, made for fun times. Rusty is gonna stick With to the, what he knows. He's gonna that's play. a quiz essential A groove team right there. As yes, well. it is. I mean, and if you pick that team, you gotta be using Renegade it. with an adjustment. Instead of picking up Vice, he is going to go to. Iori up front with Chun-Li in the middle and Blanca in the back. It sure looks like. No, Blanca up front. Blanca up front. Blanca does do pretty well against Claw. I'm, lo and I'm loving that team switch. You, know, yeah. you don't just assume by the order of picking the characters that those are the exact characters that are going to come out. Yeah, in that order. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah. Now, Vice is not as good against Claw as Blanca. Yeah. Blanca has the advantage of being able to want to like sort of trade buttons at a distance mm -hmm. and actually get like value out of it right now just a, a little bit of neutral they're trying to look for options renegade is a little bit low on guard bar yeah Re rest easy is about to build up a nice. full stock though oh nice block there just take it here oh good nice roll away cancel. good card cancel roll away to stop the thing C claw really can't do a whole lot without meter if you have no guard bar so he took what he could get there. And Renegade gets himself out of a sticky situation, but still a little bit behind in the life. Oh, jumping through. Nice. Got himself kind of right back into out it. Of Blanca's own book. Yep. Two down medium kicks there from, from Blanca. Yeah, and that, that low strong. And anti airs with that patented stand roundhouse. Rustizi with the first blood. I'm loving Rustizi's uh, use of the A groove there. Of course, he definitely knows how to paint fences like he's done a whole neighborhood yeah. over the years. I mean, you can give that guy oh, a general wow. contractor okay. license, but the Rekka I mean, this, this man leapt through the air and landed a jumping roundhouse like everything was okay and got the fullest combo you could get there, which was roundhouse fierce, fierce Rekkas. Goodbye. Get off my screen. That's composure, no. man. Yeah. Roll into with a groove, got though. Roll into with a groove. Feels really scary to push any buttons here because at any moment it could be Vamos! And he's well, activated. That, that pressure, but no, he's got there a it is. TP. And he was just talking about this early. Sometimes rhythmic Agru gymnastics twirling that baton yep, with the explosive finish. Yeah, a groove sometimes just kind of wants to activate. Now prestige has got himself a, a clear one ratio, one character advantage. Now, uh, Chun-Li doesn't get to do that to Rolento. There is a thing that Chun-Li can do to characters with slightly larger hitboxes where she can do short, short, down, medium, into spinning bird kick. Rolento, not quite so tall. Yeah, height is definitely an important metric in this game. There's a lot of standing pups. Whoa, the Kikosho like there out of nowhere. Renegade profile. got, Renegade absolutely just kind of throwing away all that meter. Chun Lee right now, nice anti air sweep. sweep. I'm a fan. Looking for some options here. He does have Rolento does have a full uh, full stick of meter here. And oh, it's going to unleash it here. Nope, doesn't get. Oh no! No, but yeah, does Gets it with an empty up. jump. He's going to get super. That should be enough. No, oh, drops no. super. Oh no! Yeah, it doesn't connect. Renegade right now, not playing. Rolls as through well the as knife. He could. Rust easy was right there to meet him with the baton. <sighs> Got the knife. It almost looked like it was trying to parry that. And now we're up 1-0, Rust Easy. Got a little bit sore loser yeah. talk, too. Renegade sore looking a little, spot, rather. Yeah, Renegade looking a little like, hmm, what'd I do there? A lot of people right now in the in the chat 
talking about match fixing. What is wrong with you? People would get worked in this game, kids. That happens. Sometimes you get worked. Sometimes you're the bug, and sometimes you're Sagat. <laughs> Forget the windshield. <laughs> sometimes standing fierce, get out of here. All right, now, okay, Renegade's that is gonna a switch to Honda. Yeah, see I if was. The sumo style could benefit him. What are your thoughts on Honda and Engroove? I don't have any. Okay. He got, okay, let's talk about that. He has a run. He has uh, a goofy looking run. Yeah, I, I mean, it's a good run, though, actually. He has a short hop. Short hops are good on him. I mean, in my opinion, short hops are good on him. Uh, yeah. He has roll cancels, which uh, mean that Ochio is on play. Oh, nice down medium twice into Rex, because that thing hurts so much. Oh, jab fierce into nothing, Renegade. We talked about this earlier. Don't choke. Why are you like this? Got to, you know, the commentators got to cheer for the commentators, you know? We got to do it. When one of our own is up there, oh, I'm sweating, sweating, working hard. It's hot back here, man. Yeah, I mean, it oh, is. Oh, good guard hard. cancel on the row. Just exactly as you mentioned, Iori's oh. movement is, oh, no, but this is going to. You know what it is? I, I feel like he figured, oh, you know, it's Cloud. I don't want to activate here. It's like, what you don't know about A group players is that if they can activate to just sort of bop you, they'll do it. Right. They don't care. Yeah, Rastizi on point with that juggle. Let's see Renegade. He's down to his last two characters, these two heavyweights. Oh, with punishes, with the hands. Nice headbutt. Hands Remember, hairs with it. roll cancel hands is in play. Good move. Roll cancel Ocho is in play. Oh, another good move. Roll cancel hands is just, it's some dumb stuff. It's, it's dumb also really stuff. good to deal with basically a little bit of everything here. Surya, Surya. And like you mentioned, those short hops. It function yeah, I mean, sometimes in some ways it can work like an impromptu and, butt slam. And also another thing about uh, N Honda is that any Honda in a rolling groove gets to advance by rolling, and the roll's not bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Also gets to advance by roll cancel hands, which is also a great way to move forward. Yeah. Uh, I think he's going to get a little sliver of health here. Oh, wow. That was actually pretty generous. So we're evened up. Honda right now, nice little headbutt there. This is a good way of slowing the match down. Honda does slow the match down because you can't go for shenanigans because headbutt exists. Oh, popped. Yep, there he goes. He's gonna get himself a 20% oh. more health damage, but good response from Rastizi. Drops it. Oh, misses it again. Just goes for somebody for some reason, doesn't block it. I don't understand what just happened. Roll cancel hands. Makes him block a regular Honda block string. Jab at the crouching fierce. Jab at the stand fierce. I mean, hands already has a ridiculous hitbox of its own. Nice roll anti cancel hands. Has an anti air. Yeah. Headbutt. Rusty's looking at his controller like, was that me? Who knows? Who knows? Now, Renegade looks like he's turned it around. Bison a little bit behind this match. Eats hands. Hands blocked. Also, hands deal so much chip damage, and they deal a lot of guard damage as well. So nice. Oh, I don't know what I think of that. Yeah, of that guard cancel roll. Maybe not the most prudent use of meter. Well, but he still has two other stocks. I mean, he's been saving it up throughout the entire match. You know, the man is taking care of his piggy bank. Yep, Blanca right now with meter. Oh, oh gets clipped. He's gonna be able to go for he's it. He's carrying him to the corner. That's and right. Here comes it's a the couple, Renaissance. Couple coins of paint. Couple coats of paint, but not a whole lot of damage actually. Yeah, oh, fat one. combo there though. Nice roll, cancel roll. Electricity to get him off. Starts doing electricity shenanigans. Popped. All of a sudden, the match is very, very dangerous for Bison. Renegade has gotta be careful. You can't jump. You can't mess up. Oh, drops the super. Yeah, but still. Still having a few. Still has plenty. Left. Still has plenty of meter too. You can just pop again. There you go. Match is dangerous once more. We're back in danger time. Renegade needs to slow this down a little bit. Makes him block a bunch of ticks of that. A couple rolls. Jumps. Gets a big damage there. But Bison's about to have full meter. Bison with full meter is one of the scariest characters in the game. You could say he literally climbs tiers on the tier list when he ain't gets meter. Oh, you get it from the skull crusher. Nothing. Activation, short no. Short roundhouse is dangerous. Oh, All good away. Guard cancel. Oh, oh, Renegade manages the short to hang around. Roundhouse. The drop kick gives him a little extension of his tournament life. Absolutely wild. That was really good from Renegade. Manages to hang on. Renegade ties it up 1-1. Unbelievable. Actually, 
I'm not sure if clutch play or a little bit of a scramble there at the end, but sometimes the clutch is in doing the right thing at the scramble. Notice that he didn't have any life left, so he couldn't take literally anything else from Bison. When he saw a big move, decided to guard cancel roll away, yeah. stop the, uh, the custom combo by, by hitting him, and then it turned into anyone's game there. Low forward all day, don't even slide. So now we're back here. Yeah, right again, the same team, yeah. Rusty's easy. Last game, wow, okay, so that was an execution error that somehow worked. Does the kick grab there from Yuri. Yuri a little bit behind on life, but roll cancel records, there you go. That's the tool that you use to keep people in the corner, but I have a roll cancel ball, so what now? Roll cancel Vega ball, one of the cheapest things in the game. Activate, okay. manages to block, just have to hold down. Spends the meter because he wanted to get he greedy. He doesn't care about their guard kit, so it's uh, still happening. He needed to wake up probably uppercut there. And now kind of gave up Yori for no reason, even though I, I was doing so well. Yeah, he's, he's got down. It, it's looked like he's almost down. I think he fe I feel like Honda has to sit in the corner, hold down back, and gain weight. I would agree. It, it's time to gain weight in the corner, dude. Let's see if Sejam is actually an extra sandwiches to share. Yep. Have some Portillos. Just sit in the corner, eat some Portillos, buddy. No, that's not enough. No, okay, there you go. That's fine, I guess. Mm, now he kind of wants to kill him because he wants to get some of that life back. That's how but right, okay, right. nice. There you go. Short well done. With the medium kick. Oh, got a dizzy. So that's fine. That was inefficient. I think better off would have just been the standing fears because he's actually got, probably gotten a little bit more health back. <laughs> just wanted to be fancy, dude. I mean, like we've been seeing this entire night. Fanciness is the name of the game. Now, Rolento, the scatter jumps, so it's a better place this time, so as to not have to deal with headbutts, but Renegade sometimes just letting him rip at moments where he thinks that Rusteezy is getting a little too comfortable. Nice throw into the corner, it's dangerous now. Any any one of these could be an activation right there. Oh, good blocking from nice, Robin. Nice jab, headbutt to get him off. Stand fierce, I felt that that was like a no shield. Another roll. Yeah, I felt that too. That was a prime Ooh. position as well. Oh, but the guard yeah. break. What's going to happen from well, here? He's going to do Patriot Circle and give him a ton of bar, which is the only way Rolento can do damage is by gifting you meter. I don't know what Renegade is rolls. doing. He's just handing out the meter like it's free. Uh, I don't know how I feel about any of this. He's just throwing out those red balls like there's Patch Adams noses just going on all the kids, you know? Shout out to Silent Scope in the chat. I want to mention, by the way, Ra uh, Renegade said the other day that uh, Blanca's ugliest color was purple and orange. But what is that? Oh, boy. That's damage, too. That's a lot of damage, and I feel like he didn't need to take almost any of that. Renegade right now, really behind. I wonder if a lot of those guard cancel rolls are executionary, then he's actually trying to do guard cancel uh, alpha counters and not getting them, at least with Honda. Ooh, up ball. Not gonna reach, honestly. Almost out of meter. Guard meter, I should say. Oh, this is Renegade oh, looking. Renegade Renegade looking he's in trouble. Patriot Circle's gonna hurt. Rusty's no meter in. left. And counter super. Gonna get stuffed. And Renegade that's gonna be it for Renegade, to, yeah. Yeah, he had nothing to lose there with that level three. I mean, at any point, Rusty was just gonna pop up and just activate and just chip one all on out. But good run from Renegade going all the way far into this bracket. I really don't know what was going on there. Silent Scope asking the question, how is he not getting them? Two totally different buttons. Could be uh, accidentally pushing the buttons uh, because of uh, the stick. Maybe the stick not working as well as he had hoped. There's a lot of reasons why things could be going wrong, but they went wrong for him. And that's going to be it for Renegade's tournament life. Renegade going out, I do believe, in fifth. And uh, now we're going to see... Strong showing, man. I mean, the guy's been running this ballroom. Like, just doing the work of a TO, urban planner, taking care of business. Urban planner? And exactly, either qualifying for top eight, or nearly qualifying for top eight, or holding it down on commentary. My man, the busiest man in retro fighting games as is. As it is, huh? And he is kind of heading straight toward the booth, it seems. Yeah, he's coming back, yes, which is- Yes, he uh, is. Yeah, I'm gonna have yeah. so many questions to have to ask this guy because he- Of course, he, and you should grill it. him. Turn up the temperature of this booth. I got questions for him. So, thank you very much, dude. Yeah, this is Team Chris signing off. It's been real. Capcom it's been real, it's been fun, two. and it's been real fun. Yeah, uh, CBS2 is my favorite fighting game of all time. It's always a pleasure to come and be a part of the stream and contribute and to play it. I'm happy with my tournament performance as well. You did. You you were, like, right outside of top eight. I know, right? Ain't that something? 
Like, my high school self is so proud of me right now. <laughs> Like, for real. And the funny part is, is I hate the way I played this game in high school. Yeah, right? I'm but using, dude, like, all the characters my friends used to beat me with. That's 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 what's really inspired that's, it so much. That's but. when you learn that you have matured as a fighting game player. Oh, absolutely. And also, like, I just want to say, like, we had a 58-man bracket in this tournament. I think it's the biggest bracket so far for CBS2 this year in the United States. Like, for real. And and we had well, we came correct with the hardware, too. We were playing on Naomi boards, on the Dreamcast with the DC Which HDMI. are basically the same hardware, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, picture perfect. It's godlike, you know. Shout out. So, I'm gonna be tagging back in Renegade to run the rest of this show. You guys have been doing great, holding it down. Thank you, everyone, on the chat, and please play more CVS too, man. Hell Let, yeah. Let's make it happen, man. Let's make these six grooves and put them on the map. See ya. Hey, all six represented. Anyways, guys, thank you for checking out here. Combo Breaker 2019. We are still in the top the eight. Tagging. I hope yeah. you got some inter entertaining matches. That's for I, I, I think we did. Anyway, so next up, what we've got is we will be playing, I do believe, V. No, that's Dr. B against Rastizi. Rastizi. I keep getting his name wrong because I'm kind of silly. All six groups today on stream in this top eight. We have had uh, two C group players, two K group players, an A, an S, a P, and an N. And, uh, and that's pretty amazing. Welcome back to... Renegade back here in the commentator's booth. Hi, everyone. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, so I have I, questions I, for you. You can't see me, but I'm waving. I have questions for you. Oh, uh, well, I have answers? So, uh, Hopefully. So probably don't. So you're playing Honda. Yeah. And you know that uh, when you're blocking, uh, and Honda do can roll away <laughs> while he's blocking, but it may be better to, to use meter headbutt them. Oh, yeah. With the other move that he has. I, I was actually, what all those were was me trying to roll cancel hands as a reversal, but it came out and block stunned, and then I got uh, the counter roll. But if you're holding back, you don't get counter roll. That's true. That that's means true. that you push the button. Yeah. I mean, bad. you push forward. Yeah. It's, it is I, uh, I see. I'll talk about that in a second. That's we, a lot got, of cider. We got, yeah, we got a, we got a match going on. Rust Easy versus Dr. B. Dr. B right now uh, off to a warm start. I wouldn't say a hot start, but it uh, there's temperature to it. Yeah. Rust Easy with almost no guard bar and lose the mask on Claw and also loses the Claw. Now, what you might not know about Claw in this game uh, is that if he loses the Claw, he takes uh, a bonus damage. And if, I mean, if he loses the mask, he takes bonus damage. Yeah, and, he and if he loses the Claw, he deals a little bit less, but really what he loses is in range. Yeah, a lot of range and priority. Yeah. Um, so, Dr. B actually wow. really taking it to him in this first round. Yeah, and listen, if you are forced to block electricity at any time, yeah, it's tough. it hits like 80 times, it does a decent amount of chip and on guard meter, and that's what happened there. He just melted yeah. from it. Nice up ball there to stop Rolento from getting in. I feel like he'll do it even if he thinks he's going to activate. There's oh, okay, never mind. Circle up, send up, ready. Hiya! You ever, been, you ever had a man throw a grenade at you? <laughs> and live. Okay, oh, that was God, the level three. really good from Dr. B there. Yeah. Managed to get the uh, bar just as Rolento decided that a knife was in his future. Uh, Dr. B kind of like... He's you contorting seen? himself. Yeah, he's like, he's like, oh, look at my nasty fierce punch. Look at me. Oh, as, I'm nasty. As if, as, if, as if moving will help him in the game. Oh, I mean, so far right now, it's I feel working. like Dr. B is such a momentum player. Yeah. That you know how like there's players that when they start... Take an analog. Poke chop. Yeah. When Poke Chop starts feeling himself, bad things happen to the opponent. Sometimes yeah. that's Dr. B. When Dr. B starts kind of like feeling it, <laughs> it's just like, oh, he just starts doing like dances. So, okay, I want to kind of, oh, he tries to throw him there. So, oh, 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 um, here's, here's the thing. Right, what this, what this match is right now, oh, gets hit. I can't believe that landed. Is that Rust Easy has like a lot of A groove gimmicks and. And I think a knowledge of proper CBS2. Yeah, and then Dr. Dr. B has a lot of gimmicks. Yeah, but they're the gimmicks that no oh, one's ever seen because yeah. it's a groove no one ever plays. That's true. And so Rust Easy right now is like, uh, what does yeah. this guy do? Yeah. How do I deal with this? He's like, kind of like shaking around a lot. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I mean, he, he really gets pretty far on, on basically, you know, activating at oh. times. We did finally see a throw of the dodge. Yeah. We weren't seeing a whole oh, lot. Here's the paint. Oh, paint, 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 pa
So, and I mean, it was late there. If you had done it earlier, it might have worked. Yep. And Oh, Ooh. that was kind of cute. Clutch charge. Oh, my. Ooh. Uh, that kind of worked out for Dr. B, though, because he got so much damage off of so little health yeah. between the dodge, dodge attack, uh, super. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's see if, so basically Rusty's is going to try to get this, uh, get this meter back so he can paint some more. Yeah, he needs to, he want, he's going to Lowe's right now, buying yeah. some buckets. Oh, oh he gets thrown. So he got thrown to Home Depot, so. Yeah. He liked the deals at Lowe's more, so that's probably it. Oh, Goodbye, you're out. Fierce, knock, All knock, right. who's there? All right, so here's the thing. See if he, oh, he does, he does the pose, the Sagat pose. Blah, 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 blah. You, gotta, you gotta hold your chest with both hands open, right? Yeah. And then you kind of like open your arms for some reason while yeah. you laugh. It's so, because your pectorals and your and your lats are so huge that when you inflate oh. your lungs with air. Okay, what Rust, rest easy, bust out, Cammy. Hold on. Is is it, oh, oh, oh hello. Okay, so uh, I wasn't ready for this, but it is almost K. It's K C R S. Yeah. Which is not what I was expecting out of Rusty but oh, so Cammy does really well against uh, S Group because of Fierce. Yes. It, it does all the things you need it to do. It's quick. It can't be dodged. It also is her throw button. Yes, and it is. It's if if you block it, it's like plus a billion. Yeah. Uh, if you get hit by it, it's plus a billion. Uh, if anything happens with it, it's plus a billion. Yeah. Yes, well, it's an option select with throw. This is not going well for him, though. Oh, dodge a random spin drive smasher and gets swept. This is gonna have to block uh, electricity, and that's it. See ya. Rip, rip. Well, Doctor B looking the most comfortable he has ever looked this top eight. Yeah, so uh, he is he's doing pretty well here. This unorthodox S groove Blanca. Yeah, I feel like K groove is a good pick if you don't know what the heck your opponent is doing. Yeah. Uh, but I feel like maybe not working out for Rustizia as best as he wanted. He is punishing the uh, Blanca balls this time, though. I, I think Rustizia is a very aggressive player, and that ag aggressive players tend to sort of impale themselves on the S-Groove sword. Uh, they, very they, badly, yes. yes. Um, you want to make stuff happen, but the thing is, is if you just kind of sit there, S-Groove doesn't have a lot to threaten you. As Justin Wong show. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, makes him wake up, wake up into an electricity. That was probably a super that he didn't time. And Just that's probably it. a frustration super. Yeah. One of those, oh, why isn't it coming out? And so you got to do it because you got to prove to yourself you yeah. can do it. Especially, and you can't be doing those on top eight. Yep, can't be doing him. So right now, you know, so the Dr. Big B guy. Try, trying to close this out. You know, he needs to retain. His number one oh. in the USA ranking. Jab, jab, Tiger Crush. Oh, punishes the tech roll there from yep. Rust Easy. It was pretty clean. Yeah. Wow, those jump fierces have been landing in ways that are quite frustrating. Yep. It's Sagat though. Sagat with almost full meter. Full, almost full meter. So he's gonna get he's gonna get some health back. He's gonna get a rage really quickly. Probably one or two more rages at least. Yep, Dr. B didn't taunt uh, the meter away, which yeah. uh, a little he bit of a mistake. Doing. Yeah, but it's a little bit harder on Dreamcast, that's for sure. Yeah. Ooh, oh, that's uppercut, uppercut, real mean. Uh, uppercut at the dodge attack. That's faith. Yep, level one meter now on. See if he does a super or a psycho crusher, both of which are very punishable. Nice block. Manages to block the low hot foot, can be really annoying for some people. Nice punish of the fierce punch there after a dodge. Oh, taunted to get the meter. No, why? He's just he's he's taunting to to style. Yeah, that is Doctor B. Yep. Doctor B is a very disrespectful player. If he gets into your head, he loves to stay there. You know, if you give him the super. real estate, he'll oh. take it all. He could have super. He could have crouching fierce. Rust easy. No longer mentally in this game. You can see him shaking his head. Yeah. Kind of just looking for anything that he can do just to sort of stay in. A little bit of a scramble. The guard gets broken. Oh, nice JD on that. Actually nice. gets really good damage. He might actually live to see the next character. Nice JD on that. No punish. That's a, pu that's that's a, a punish. punish. Yeah. All right. Oh, we are going to see Sagat versus Sagat. Okay. So, do you remember Mizuteru? <laughs> Mizuteru in Evo Japan did a huge comeback against Dr. B with Sagat Sagat. Is Rustizi Mizuteru? Yeah. No, but is he, though? I don't know. I don't think so. 
No. I'm going to go with definitely not. Definitely not. So Dr. So B uh, advancing uh, to loser's, loser's, fi loser's Finals, actually. Loser's that was Loser's, loser's Finals. Sorry, yes, yeah. Loser's Finals. So Dr. B awaits the loser of Nakanishi and Justin Wong. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just salt. I think I might have been able to do a little bit better there. <laughs> That's how it goes. I think it, I think it start. I think I would have started with uh, not doing really late roll cancel hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. That might have that might have saved you well, a lot no, of here. No, no, no. I mean, I I probably see the thing is is me versus like Rusty Easy. I probably lose that match. Maybe eight, 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 nine out of ten times probably. Uh, you know, he's he's got a lot more technical ability as far as uh, and and he's got those A group customs down and. And whatnot. But you have and more S group experiences because uh, you have played Pat Van Pelt once or twice. Oh, well, I, I, I yeah. <laughs> also, like, you know, I have the ability to kind of, like, chill and lame it out a little bit. Yep. But, I mean, I don't know. I have not played Dr. B ever. Uh, so. Ooh, look who's in the stream. APOC. Yeah, so. Oh, that's an old head. And to say that, you know, I would do better than somebody sitting in that chair. When I sat in that chair just, like, 20 minutes ago, I was missing combos and doing, like, three guard cancels with Honda for no reason. It is what it is, man. Hey, but uh, you know what? I, it was house money because I felt really good about that second match where I came back. That was good. Uh, and, yeah. A couple people saying that they would have loved to see you actually play it. So, yeah, kind of interesting. Now, I do have a theory as to why your play may have been a little bit more sloppy. I'm hot as heck. Uh, that is one reason, but the other reason is that uh, that looks like a really empty jug. Uh, it's, it's whatever. Uh, you know, <laughs> you got to, you got to, you gotta refresh yourself, and there's nothing more refreshing than a crisp apple cider. Uh, that's a uh, hold on. It's got even like ounces. Hold on, that's more 20. than 28 ounces of it, dude. <laughs> yeah, but like I'm like sweating like a like a freaking horse here. Yeah, so now you've only been replaced with there's, apple cider. There was ice in there. Shout outs to that cider, by the way. It's quite delicious. Yeah, uh, so it was actually um, it was. It, I, it was, I, I had a keg of it for my baby shouter. I'm going to be a papa in, in you know, a few months. Congratulations, dude. Thank you. I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, I, got a, I got a wonderful partner to do it with, and, you know, real life is kind of amazing, too, sometimes. Nakanishi, a little bit of adjustment here for Justin. He's going to be rocking Cammy instead of Ken. Yeah. Justin going to be playing Claw, Chun-Li, Sagat in that order this time. Yeah, let's see how this goes. I mean, this is kind of a... A heavyweight fight here. A couple of adjustments from both of them. This is winner's final, so whoever yeah. uh, wins this one uh, is going to wait for the winner of Yeah. Uh, well, Dr. no, they, they, the loser goes to Dr. B. Yeah, the loser yeah. goes to Dr. B. Okay. So we, we were talking about this a, a bit. I feel that this is kind of an advantage. Uh, Vega match, uh, yeah. Vega can, can really control the range and slide under a lot of Guile's uh, you know, problem pokes and the sonic boom. Ooh, oh, red, red impact. Wow. That did so much. Justin, I mean, that's a risk that Justin doesn't take a whole lot. Uh, Which is probably why it worked. he decided to take it that one time. Yes. Yes, this game is very pretty. Justin Wong with a with a nice little commanding lead here to start, which is nice if you are a fan of America. Nice punish there on the cannon spike. Yeah. Rolling, rolling crystal flash, which I'm just gonna call Vega Ball from now on. Yeah, Vega Ball, Vega Ball safe, or or RC Ball. RC Ball, yeah. Depending on which one he does. Okay, this is actually a pretty like interesting match. Neither neither basic point player wants to really move. Yep. But and I mean, but Justin has really fast buttons. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, oh. and he has a lot of movement where he can kind of go in and out. Sneak in some hits, mm -hmm. put buttons in places where Cammy really doesn't want to have to deal with him. This yeah. matchup, in my opinion, is not really good for Cammy. It's not bad whatsoever. Yeah, but so it's it's. But the thing is, is this is why Vegas is so good. Vegas is playing with house money right now. He has no reason to like do anything, really advance it. If he does a super, it's great. If he jumps in, it's great. Justin, he's like, I have all the cards. You yep. come to my house and play. And this is why Vega is so good in this game, especially in the hands of a player like Justin Wong. All right. Justin, still with his first character. Still advancing here, just like dancing around. He's like, I don't, I don't really need to fight you. 
Nakanishi moving in. Sisa got always dangerous. Oh, nice uppercut there. Gets the four hits. Had to ask Ooh. a quick question there, too. All right. Sagat with the throw. So, he has see Sagat, which is definitely a dangerous, dangerous animal. But he has to get through Chun-Li. He has to get through Chun-Li, which is a, not a good matchup. Well, I mean, it's it's a fair match. I think it's even. Um, which, uh, if you're talking about matchups in CBS2, is not a good matchup. Yeah, it's not a good matchup for Sagat. Even matchups are, are bad. Um, and, and Justin Sagat. So, and they play the same groove, very similar styles. Nice frame trap there to keep Sagat honest. Good tech on the throw. Actually, what I meant Styles as far as, oh, he, he blows it. Uh, Ow. That's, um, that was interesting. I yeah. feel like I would have just taken the chip. Yeah, why? I wonder if Justin wasn't expecting the super and he had already buffered in the input beforehand. It might have been. But it was probably not worth it anyway because he spent so much guard meter for it, and it's probably just better just to take the chip and the guard meter normally. I don't know. All right. Justin is obviously in, in uh, grand finals of the game, and I'm just here talking about it, so yeah. what do I know? <laughs> no, uh, I'm surprised that I, he did yeah. not go for, uh, oh, never mind. Those were frustration supers from Nakanishi. Yep. Uh, like, frustrated. Justin's turtle style is legendary. Take down Raw. Yeah. On the verge of putting it up against Daigo, one nothing. Now up against Nakanishi. Oh, uh, we're so old. Yeah. So So Jay it, Wong takes the first one. Yeah, it was that was actually a pretty uh, dominant performance for Jay Wong. Uh, Nakanishi wanted to like control the pace. He's a he's a basic a pressure a pressure uh, player and Jay Wong's a turtle player, so And that's I guess why he decided to go back to Ken. I guess he decided that the Ken wasn't working here. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, his Ken was really, really dominant in matches up to this point, getting a lot of combos, doing a lot of damage. His and guile is, is, is legendary, but has not been really doing a lot of work in this tournament. Been running into a lot of Vegas, uh, a lot of bad matchups. So, And I think another thing about uh, the guile versus claw matchup here. Uh, oh, Ooh. ow. All right, there goes all the hardware. Ooh, this, this could be it. No, wow, oh, nice Justin. approach there from Justin. Yeah. One of the things about this matchup, too, is that this matchup historically does have a problem for Guile, and that's that uh, there's nothing Guile can do since Super Turbo about a properly spaced claw slide. Oh, yeah. Not a single thing. Yeah, it beats Sonic Kaboom and, Sonic Kaboom. and lots of his other things. He could probably, if he expects it, does, do a Sobat back and maybe hop over it, but that's really, But really you're cool neutral. Head. Yeah. You both recover basically at the same time. Mm -hmm. So uh, now uh, this is a rough match. Yeah, this match, this matchup in particular is not good. Uh, oh, that was a smart idea to maybe do the hurricane kick to see if uh, you catch Claw doing stuff, but he decided to just yeah. air block. Something that you can do in this game against air attacks, you can block them. Yeah, uh, only in secret. Yep, only secret oh, can do it. Throw doesn't have much life left. See if he can get rid of the problem. Oh, short sure jab. Short sure jab. All right, so Nakanishi in much better shape than he did than he was at last round. He put away. The, the the super turtle monster now has to deal with Chun with Ken. Now Chun always has that full full bar and loaded is very dangerous. But we haven't seen Justin do the big combo yet. Uh, he's been favoring level ones with Chun Li. And I mean that is kind of the thing with Chun Li, right? Like Chun Li does get a lot of value out of the level ones as well. Uh, it may be that Justin's not confident in his execution to do a full proper. Uh, like level two mm -hmm. super combo because <laughs> those are a little difficult. Yeah, I like uh, Nakanishi just like pretty much just standing there completely neutral saying, okay, come on, man. Like, really? Nah, dude, haven't you seen my third strike video from a long time ago? Yeah. You think I'm going to walk forward? Are you insane? <laughs> He's like, this game is like 20 years old. Why are you turtling like this? Because it got me there 20 years ago. Yeah. Nice punish there from Chun Li. <laughs> Nice punch Justin, there again. Justin winning the match without using a single bar or a single combo. Or like even extending himself. Yeah. Oh, there oh, it is. Oh, that's, that's a lot of damage. Hurt. But, you know, Justin can slow this down for a little bit and slowly chip away at the health. Oh, nice down that, fierce as an that, anti-air. That, that thing hurts. 
I mean, wow. in that case, probably because it moves her body forward, so it puts her safe from the hitbox yeah. of the jumping roundhouse, Nakabishi, and then you land into it. Nakabishi's showing some juice here. He is, but yeah. do you know what? Justin comfortable just taking little bits of damage so that he can That's make it better for his own Sagat. See, Justin's been dropping those combos. There's a rest on a lot of people here, um, and with Justin, it mostly shows the chun -Li. That down fierce. All right. If, if Nakanishi can close this out, it's anybody's game. I feel like Justin's going to start slowing it down even more because the more the time passes, the more permanent that life damage is. Yeah, the, you gain life ba based on the remaining timer. Oof. Yeah. Making block some Kikoken so you just chip away just a little bit more. Yeah. Another little chip away. Nice jump. Nakanishi going, okay. You want turtle? Nice like turtle. sweep, okay. No spinning bird kicks at all, actually, which kind of surprises me. Nakanishi fine with turtling, just just dance it back, realize he's nice sweep. Win. He's just gonna try to get as much life as he can from other sources. <laughs> Justin finally rushing down. I mean, at that point, like you're playing with house money, yeah. Because uh, no matter how much time is left, he got uh, at least like three sleeps, uh, like pretty much when the the time over was imminent. Yeah, like this is way in Justin's favor right now. Yep. Oh, but that chicken guard actually kind of screwed up his uh, guard bar, so he's in a little bit of trouble. Oh, no. He is in a... Oh, that's Does not the right super there. Hard. Oh, yes, that is a thing you can do whenever uh, any bar is flashing in this game. Sagat can always basically standing medium punch, medium punch uppercut, and it's gone. So, Nakanishi... In a commanding lead right now. Yes. Well, just No lead is safe against two. Sagat, yeah. Oh, Hot foot, blocks it. Oh, the guard canceled. Off the counter, yeah. He's got no health left. Oh, but, you know, he's still willing to fight it out. Nice standing light kick takes it for Nakanishi. We tie it up 1-1. One, one. Tie it up 1-1. One, one. Wow. You remember in that match when I said if he closed out Chun-Li, it's anybody's game. Yep. And he finally did. Those, I have to say, Justin really did well as far as just pecking away and being annoying with Chun-Li. But really, he's got to think about those missed opportunities. Um, you know, to be able to land the super uh, and really, really put some damage on, on Sagat in that situation. Uh, and it's okay to turtle, but you have to basically take advantage of the opportunities that are put in front of you. Yeah. And I mean, there's also stuff like if he had done, like, as uh, Sanscope actually pointed out in chat, if he had done Tiger Cannon, that would have totally worked. Oh, Justin pointing out, okay. We need a ruling from the TO. Uh, Nakanishi switched Ken into the front, uh, even though he won. I do believe that the current rule set allows for order but, change. Yeah, button order change. I think is allowed. I don't. I. I don't know. I need. I need. I need a TO. To I mean, uh, hi. Am I? Oh yeah. Uh, I will. I will check if you guys can uh, maybe hold them from starting, please. Just tell them to pause for a moment. Wait. We're, we're double checking that rule. In case the ruling. Uh, yeah. So, in, in, in. Oh, the rule if you can d change your order via the buttons. Oh, they're just rolling. Okay. All right. I'll give a ruling over to uh, them in a second because. Oh, so winner must keep team but may change order. Oh, so, yes. The rules on combobreaker.org. Hey. So, yes, the rules on combobreaker.org do state that winner must keep team but may change order. He can change the order if he wants. All right. Anyway, back into the match. We got to make sure that that's a, because a, a very old school rule is that the order is not changeable, but the rules for this game did change yeah. over time where you are allowed to so, switch the order. I mean, it doesn't, it seems like looking at the actual match here, it seems Nakanishi is doing very well Guile Vega here. Maybe Justin got a little bit rattled as far as the distraction here. Um, so it doesn't really matter. You, you're, if you're Guile, you're happy with where you're at right now. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. The anti air strong there. Justin being. Uh, that was not a bad place. Oh, crossfire blitz. Did it again? Yeah. That was an early, literally earlier in this round. One of the things he did is that he punished the bad jump in with crossfire blitz. Yeah. By because I mean, you still recover pretty quickly from those jump in attacks. Okay, and in the in, in the in the first time in this set, Nakanishi 
keeps winning the first character matchup and getting to Justin's Chun-Li. Oh, decided to just do level three just to finish it up. I think Looks like an execution error. I think he might have wanted to do level two. Uh, yeah, most likely level two would have uh, would have been able to do it. But you know what? I think Justin says, you know, I'm not really using super much anyway right now. Uh, might as well use the level three and make sure. Although, without the level three, Chun becomes very less threatening, and Ken is going to start doing his Ken things. He's going to do some mix-ups. He's going to do some random DPs. He's feeling saucy. He's dashing over the thing. Ooh, he went for it all. He went for it all. He went for the level three Tatsu, misses it. Chun Oof. Justin gets the level one combo, and now we are even. Both characters, no meter. About the same life. Oh, Justin nice meter punch confirmed. He got the meter while he punched. Ooh, RC Hadouken right there to go through Justin's Hadouken. Wow. Justin says, try to go through this. Please shake my hand. Please shake my hand. Gomenne. All right. So Justin getting to Sagat. Nakanishi Sagat definitely put in a lot of the work in his victory. Remember, this is winner's final. This is three out of five. Three out of five of CBS 2. Takes a while. They're dancing. Yep. Again, like last time, uh, basically, yep. anything. Oh, oh, that's an uppercut. So Chun Li's roll is not the best. She has four frames of recovery on the roll. She rolled in to get past, uh, you know, Sagat's moves and maybe catch him unawares. Nakanishi was awares. Very awares. The one one here. Ooh. This is three out of five, I do believe, and so yeah. Ooh, that's that any particular landed fierce in this match is a potential super combo if they are buffering it. Yep. However, it's sometimes very hard to buffer a super behind every single button. This oh, is it. that's a big amount of damage. Jay uh, Wong decides to hold on to the meter because he would like to get another level two yeah. for later. The Oh, Ooh, level one, level no one matter. Oh, does it doesn't connect combo that because far. it's not fast enough because yeah. level one from that distance, correct? Yeah. Nice anti air roundhouse. Justin Wong right now. Ooh, chicken guarded. Oh, nice block. Does yes. the roll super. Anti air. Wow. Very clutch well, there from Justin. Very, very well executed. Doesn't Justin Wong goes up. 2 1. I will tell you how many times Justin Wong has fallen for my roll supers. Zero. Zero. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's why I don't try it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, roll not super is is a really great tactic against not good players. Uh, Dustin Wong does not fall for that stuff. So Dustin Wong takes a two one lead here. So now Nakanishi Nakanishi still switch a team order back to Guile in front. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure if we communicated that he was allowed to. Well, he he knew he could switch anyway. Well, I don't. Lost. I think it's what he thought. Yeah. But yeah, when he lost, he's allowed to switch. Correct. Yeah, no matter what. Ooh, okay. Uh, I noticed. So against Guile, Justin seems to be a lot more aggressive because Vega has those sort of uh, inherent advantages. In this well, yeah, up. Vega is allowed to be aggressive against Guile, pretty much. Yeah. You get to kind of push buttons at him. Uh, so long as you're in the sweep range, uh, Guile can't do anything wild because you might get swept. Uh, and also he can react to bad sonic boom with a jumping fierce or a jumping roundhouse, just like that. Yes. And sure, it might not be a lot of damage, but so, in oh. any matchup, damage counts. Oh. Um, managed to land at the tail end of that super. I thought he, I thought, I'm sure he thought he was being fancy, sorry. Yeah. Maybe English is difficult. Canceled it. I don't know. Okay, counter uh, there. Okay, so Guile there's no guard meter, so flashing. just, yeah, just, we'll see what... A lot of times, Vega, when he breaks your guard, he really can't do much. He doesn't really have a whole lot of options out yeah. of it. He just slide, maybe throw. Yeah, especially like if you're like kind of far away and or ducking, red impact won't hit. Yeah, which is feels bad, man. Yeah. All right, so Justin with a small amount of life against Ken here. Let's see if Nakanishi can even this up. Nice throw there. Yeah. Nice anti-air, crouching fierce. Ah. Uh, how many, Claw, how many different anti airs does Claw, Claw has have? several. He has Crouching yeah. Fierce for long distance jump ins. He can do uh, Standing Roundhouse for characters that are getting a little bit closer. Yep. Uh, I do believe he also has another one. You I could can. do RC Flip Kick if you're really feeling saucy. Yeah, but, but no need. No need. 
Oh, this I feel is... like he could have slid that against that to get a knockdown, but didn't want it. This is looking like a jog yeah, right now. Is... Balrog just jogging Ken. This is a wash right here. Like, Jay Wong is saying, hey, this is my house. This is America. This is Mark. You come to my house, you play my game. By the way, I, I really hope we don't get um, uh, any sort of USA chance because Nakanishi last night, last night Nakanishi basically played 30 of America's best vampire savior players in, in sets, two out of three sets. Played smoked them. Smoked them all. Didn't drop a single set. Maybe lost three games the entire time. He's an excellent vampire player. Yeah. But, oh, seven games. He dropped, dropped seven games and basically 30 sets of Vampire Savior. Jesus. What a legend. So. Best Bishamon in the world, baby. Yeah. So, you know, being in this position, he's no slouch. Wow. Claw right, uh, Justin right now is just absolutely dominating this match. It's already been, we're already at 38 seconds, yeah. and it's just been Claw slowly shaving off life off of Nakanishi Sagat little by little, and Nakanishi just having no recourse. Yeah. Sure is looking like Nakanishi versus Dr. B right now, unless he has some kind of crazy answer. That yeah. looked red impactable. And yeah. I feel like Justin just didn't want to do it. Uh, he's got Chun in the back. I, I, you know, you want to save meter for her? Oh, wow! Air, air, air blocks the, the tiger uppercut. <laughs> so you can air block moves if they leave the ground like that. Yep. As long as they're off the ground, yes. Yes. So Nakanishi finally taking out Justin's claw. Got like a pixel of health back. Yeah. And we already know that Justin is more than happy to methodically remove your health here. Yeah. Yeah, basically, he's only got maybe one, Jeez. two, three. Shake my hand, please. Yeah. A lot more strong. So just, oh, that look. Oh, he wanted that. He was doing that stand short. At that range, that stand short beats Sagat's uh, Crouch Fierce. Yep. So and I do believe Nakanishi has to stay there because he's got to play Dr. Dr. B. B. Uh, he's gonna rock paper scissors for side. You gotta yeah, he's gonna rock paper scissors for side. Oh, he's trying to explain it. By the way, I don't think I've ever seen Doctor B do any sort of second player only side switch. Rock paper scissors. Oh come on, what? One two. Three. Okay, so he's trying to be two three uh, shoot. By the way, the official rule is okay. a coin flip. I don't care. They can settle it however they want. That was that was that was the most awkward international rock paper scissors game I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> At best of one on RPS. <laughs> Someone saying Doctor B can't count. <laughs> Somebody gonna, we got to see the replay of that. Um, Isn't the order normally um, rock paper scissors shoot? No, uh, winners finals. Loser semis? No, no, no. So you do loser semis first, then winners finals. Uh, Are you sure? Oh wait, wait, wait. I think the the order that we did was a little uh, a little off. Yeah, it was not good. Yeah, you sh they did stats. Shout out to One Frame Link, by the way. Uh, I remember having them doing a lot of stats of all of the games uh, on the CPT and whether or not the particular major did. Uh, Winner final, loser final, or winner final, loser semi, loser final. Basically, the difference is whether or not uh, the recency bias, whether or not the person just lost. Yeah. And usually, if the person just lost winner final, they tend to lose the next match. Yeah. Because they're they're a little bit dejected. They just they just lost. So, Doctor B here. Yeah. Into Nakanishi, Dr. B gonna try to try, yeah. gonna try to work against Nakanishi. I think maybe Nakanishi doesn't I mean I feel like Nakanishi gets a lot of S groove practice in Japan because there must be some S groove specialists yes, out there. Azumi is a very, very good S group player yeah. in Japan. Nice Uses slide there S, under the S uh, Ken, uh Benny Maru and I believe. Oh god, Benny Maru. Not sure what his third character is. Okay, so guy right now looking spicy. Yeah. Breaks the guard. That's Ooh, the that wrong a, everything. Oh, man. That is a really, really, really terrible mistake. That is the wrong everything. It's the yeah. wrong super. It's the wrong uh, thought. It's the wrong... It's wrong. Yeah. It's bad. Gonna, it's, 
the guy in the back right now just laughing. Yeah, yeah Dr. B looked down seeing where, where he put that other super. <laughs> I don't even understand how you accidentally get Shout of the Earth. I, I it don't is know, the, like, the hardest super to do in the game next to Raging Storm. Listen, right. sometimes, man, you just got to yell. By the way, I'm going to say, of the characters out there, I think Guile might be one of the... He seems very well equipped to handle S group stuff. Yeah, it's not... He, he doesn't he doesn't have a bad time. Maybe against S, by Blanca is not so good because you can slide under the Sonic Booms. Well, uh, yeah, and there's RC Boom, and then if you... Do, like, he throws the boom and you follow it. If you dodge it, you're stuck dodging. Yep, and he just gets to be next to you. All right, Nakanishi switching out Ken for Kami again. Yep. Against Justin, the Kami didn't work. Let's see if it works now. I feel like it's way better because Kami is just a better character against us group overall. Yes. Dr. B right now looking for some options. Standing jab into smile for the camera. Down medium kick into punish. So uh, Dr. B recently did go to Evo Japan. He placed ninth. Uh, with uh, eight other people, I believe. The single limb tournament in Japan. It happens. Yep. Uh, and and so Japan, th they were very entertained uh, by Dr. B. He's a uh, he's an entertaining guy. Yeah. You got All right. Meter. He's, he's got the level three, so he's gonna want to do it. He usually like doing it. To oh, cool. I think that was it, and he made a mistake. And oh. Nakanishi also makes a mistake. It's just mistakes everywhere. Sloppy play, but it works out. Yeah, it works out. Uh, he basically hit him there, and he popped up uh, and was able to juggle the whole thing. That doesn't, that, you know, maybe you would have made him save that if you did a level two. Here's the best cigar color. I mean, it's just gray shorts, man. Yeah, dark cigar with gray shorts, man. All right. Look at him. I mean, it looks, it looks, it looks powerful. Yeah, it looks imposing. The, the shoulder toss. So, so, so good. Oh, he does. Damn, he looked at him. He so, Nakanishi looked at him back. Did you notice? Yeah, yeah, it's close. You know, some of these things, that's one of those things that becomes less awkward with the language barrier. Yeah, you just both do the same thing. Yeah. Fighting games, man. Oh, he's <laughs> just throwing. Fighting, fighting games, games together. Okay, nice. Dodge into the dodge into the, the big, here's, the big here, fist. Here's what I, what I say about this. S Group Sagat actually does really well against Sagat. Um, yeah, ain't that just hilarious? Yeah. Yeah, it forces him to use some meter here to get off. All of a sudden, Nakanishi's like, where'd my Garbar go? Yeah. Sagat can't duck Sagat's stand, his own stand fears. Yep. So one of Sagat's dodge moves is his that stand fears. Stand fears. Yep. So he basically gets to ignore your stand fears, dodge and then give you one. And give you one right back. And it knocks down. Yeah. Don't get hit by it. Yeah, it's very, very effective. I would hang back if I was Nakanishi to avoid. Oh, okay. that was a drop. The meter's gone. Chicken wing. Oh, nice block. Just does the pressure. Ooh. Oh, I don't know what he was trying to do there. Me neither. This is close. Feel. Oh. I don't know if that move is. If that is. Oh, I think he was trying to find him. Throwing more tigers. Oh, Nakanishi with the small oh. light lead. He's got it. He's going to run away. There's nothing you can do. Time over. Oh, my God. The first game ends in a time over. Yeah, is Nakanishi going to do the pose? He did not. He did not. Didn't have enough time. <laughs> All right. Nakanishi's thinking. He's like, what the heck is this nut doing? <laughs> and that's not necessarily an offense or anything. In any fighting game, you got nuts. Like, you got solid by the book players, you got nuts, and then you have. Dr. B. I mean. Or, or no, I was going to say, then you have PR Balrog, who, is, who has been nicknamed by Yipes as the Daywalker. The Daywalker. <laughs> the, the super top tier elite player that basically plays like a nut. A lot of people wondering if Boss is here. Boss nope. is not here. Uh, Japan is rep represented only by Nakanishi. There are, uh, kind of feels weird to have a CBS2 tournament in America without Boss. Yeah, inexplicably. It has been, and this is definitely the biggest CBS2 tournament that's been around. Which makes it even weirder. Yeah, it's 53 players. Oh man, the Sonic booms. Oh, Nakanishi. Oh, the chops. nice. Yeah, nice air to air there from Nakanishi. Ooh, nice punish the on the slide. Yeah. Oh, oh ready, set, shoot. 
Sonic Boom. Nah, I saw that. Yeah. Is I that saw that movie and I was in the Hey, Light Kicks. That Light Kicks beats the slide. That's nice. Insider information right there. There you go. I learned something. Someone might say that Nakanishi might be good at this game. That's, that's a lot of a bar. That's a combo. Two medium kicks. Yep. Stuffs the flash kick. It's not actually super great in this game. I'm actually surprised, by the way, in that last match that he never used dodge kick at the super cancel. Especially when it was really close. Yeah. Because the very first frame of the kick is super cancelable. Yeah. Oh, my. There it is. Oh. Oh, bad Man. punish. Teleports well, away. Okay. The the Bison um, Psycho Crusher is, is a little funky sometimes. Uh, all right. Oh, that's free. I was what? He did super there. That's right. punishable. You can't be doing that. Yep. Rock. Can't be Slide. doing that. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that Dr. B does that is like punishable and yet he gets away with in a, in a lot of earlier levels of tournaments. Yeah, because a lot of people don't know what to do about it. Yeah, if you do a two-hit scissor kick, a lot of really, really deep like that, a lot of characters in this game can't punish you for it. Nakanishi, able to do that. I think that that was one of the big criticisms that Boss has about players in general is that they just don't have optimal punishes yet. Yeah. They don't need they don't know what to punish in this game. Yeah. Dr. B with the wrong super. Well I mean that was just way too far. There's no way you're gonna punish what? A sonic boom from the But even full then screen? you at least want him to like have to do something other than sit there and block it, right? I, I don't I mean like it doesn't even matter. It's like you, you spend all that time charging and you're gonna chuck a full screen. Whatever. Alright, wow. so that was the round of Sonic Kaboom. Sonic Kaboom. Sonic Bear. Sonic Kaboom. Yeah, it single handedly destroyed Dr. B's entire team. Dr. Yeah. B is looking a little flummoxed here. Maybe he's been downloaded. It's possible. Yeah, that, that doesn't, doesn't work. work. That's a level one. It's not good. That is a big weakness of S group. Yeah. Level ones just aren't very good. Trying to get that level three again. He's got it. How is he gonna do it? Oh, uh, okay. I think he was going for a gimmick there. Tiger Crush into uh, into level three. Yeah, and then he did the short hop there. Wait, what is he doing? Doc Doctor B is standing. Oh wait, he wants, oh, he wants to switch sides. Yes, oh, he does. He wants to switch sides. Wow, what an old person. All right. Doctor B exercises his right to switch sides. It's true. If only he had the talent of Sonic, Sonic Fox. Ow. That's rude. What? Sonic Fox is easily... I mean, that's... that's I don't think... The thing is that I don't think anyone has the talent of Sonic Fox. Let's be real. Yeah, it's true. Who do you know with the talent of Sonic Fox besides Sonic Fox? Go. Okay, done. It's Tokido? Sonic Fox. Oh, uh, okay. No. Tokido is... Toki I think Tokido is less talent and more 1,000 million trillion billion percent hard work. He does measure the distance between his face and the screen. That's, that's all hard work. Yeah. All of that is, is, uh, a, is a work. <laughs> work <laughs> she's like, okay, are these good? How am I going to put them on? Are they, are they sweaty? <laughs> He's if, like concerned that the headphones aren't very good. He's like, uh. If, if they were the headphones I was using, probably they're sweaty. Nice. Sorry. Damn, someone just went. Someone just said, shut up, commentator. That is rude. But someone else agrees with you saying, Lamal, that's not rude. That's facts. That is, I mean, yeah. Sonic Fox has won like a bajillion different Evo tournaments in a bajillion different games. Saying he's the most talented person is a not. Apoc says that Tokido wins at serious game. Stop. I mean, <laughs> we're not saying he doesn't. But I think that's 8 billion percent hard work and dedication. Yeah. Anyway, back to the match. Dr. Beat goes to C Groove. C Yama. Okay. That's like a, I feel like that's a tacit surrender. Yeah, it's, this is, it, this is going to be. Gonna I don't know bad. if it's bad. I'm just saying it's a tacit surrender. It's like, you know what? I couldn't win on the terms. Oh, there you go. Matches it out. Build that meter. So his strategy was the side switch. Into the, the show him what I've got switch. Uh, weird time to roll there when Guile is just standing there or sitting there in neutral. Yeah. 
So by the way, I I, I, I want to take back what I said. I don't want to call anybody that's not talented or anything like that, you know. And obviously, Dr. B is here in Losers Finals, and I am not, and all that sort of stuff. He's done great. Uh, it's just that he's kind of been known for aggr aggrandizing and boastful uh, claims. So just a just a scooch, just a scooch. So it's it's sometimes. Never mind. Drink tea. You're being asked to stop apologizing. Okay. Okay. Anyways, just say, just bring it out there. Lock on, spin drive, smash it. It was just level one, but good enough to do a little bit of damage. Okay. All right. So, Bison here looking for an opportunity. Uh, what? I think that was a guard break. Yeah. No, it didn't. I think. Yeah, oh, it did a guard break in the air. Yeah. That's funny. You don't see that very often, no. honestly. All right. Kami just kind of like. Oh, that's a punish. Yeah, that's a punish. Shoot. Come Goulet. on. I like to say that she says Goulet. I say it's already confirmed. Oh, oh hello. Roll super. Wow. Just hitting him hitting him with the 2001 classic. Yeah, I, I basically lived on that for about uh, five years. I never played a roll groove, so I never had that problem. I just yeah. always played K groove, so I always did low hop. Yeah, empty all right. super. Throws it. So here we go, Sagat. Now Dr. B on his last ropes with C. Sagat against Kami. This matchup actually is kind of whack. Yeah. Uh, well, because Kami doesn't have to do anything, especially not right now. Like, yeah, and the very any meter that Kami gets is like bonus. bonus. Yeah, the tip of her stand roundhouse. Ooh, he RC the spiral arrow to go through the tiger. Ooh. So the tip of her roundhouse outranges all of uh, Sagat's buttons except for stand medium kick. Yikes. All right. Hits the roundhouse. Oh, fierce. Oof. Roundhouse. Oh, oh this is nice good. super. Oh, wow. On reaction. So. I don't think this is going very well. It may not be, but at least Dr. B has plenty of meter to work with. Yeah. And Nakanishi doesn't, and that is sometimes what the Sagat versus Sagat boils down to. However, he opens with a roll, real roll grimy. Roll super again. Roll super again because Dr. B will never change his ways no matter what you tell him. <laughs> it went for another roll. Just keep on rolling. Yep, just keep on rolling, but it's uh, starting to not pay off anymore. He has almost no life left to work with. And he's taunting. Taunts to give him meter. Why, why he would wants you? him to get close. Uh, Got to start to press down medium punch, get some meter there. Tiger uppercut, and Nakanishi okay. takes it. Three wins straight in a row Three against Dr. Straight. B. And we're going to have a Nakanishi versus... Justin rematch. Yes, we are. Dr. B in third place. So Justin's comfortable being on whichever side. He doesn't care. Yeah, so, I mean... All the all in all, I mean, this was a like this was a pretty good tournament. It was about you know 55 people. Um, it is characterized a little bit by some of the no shows. Uh, you know, Silent Scope registered, uh, couldn't make it due to the issues. Shout out to Silent Scope if you're watching on the stream. Great yeah. guy. Uh, and uh, in the in the bracket uh, di didn't make it. Um, uh, Ricky Ortiz uh, signed up, did not play. Yep. Chris G felt it was too far to get to this room. He tweeted about that. Uh, that's that's so funny. Did not play. Um, and so this uh, this top eight probably would have looked a little bit different if, if some of those players had made it. Um, it's possible. And, you know, there's some other players out there that really, I mean, didn't necessarily get to come. So shout outs to all my, you know, DV DMV compadres. Yeah. Um, that... Like, you know, still still have the CBS sessions every now and then. So, you know, hey, maybe next year. So, but we do actually have a great um, final matchup for you here. Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty fun. Justin yes. Wamber is not going to Nakanishi. Nakanishi has had some time to sit on what happened and maybe gets to think about it. Um, so, there is... Justin going with his Vega, Chan Sagat. Nakanishi's going in the tank. He's thinking. He's like, what? What can I do? How can I break, crack this nut? 
He's gonna try Cammy again, apparently. Yeah. Let's see if he he's, he's adjusting his ratio. He puts it to two on Sagat. So this is, I mean, what's great about this as well is, you know, you have this international match. Uh, this is a na match that I've never seen before, except for the fact that we saw it about 20 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah it's and like a, it's like a match that you wouldn't expect in 2019 either. Yeah. Like Justin Wong versus Nakanishi in Sivas two grand finals. What? Seagroove, yeah. Seagroove. Yeah. 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 It's great. Especially so. with 2019 being like all these K groove players finally <laughs> coming into like their own. Yeah. A lot of uh, A groove players just coming back. Boss I, basically kicking everyone in the butt. I think uh, outside of Japan, most. A group play plays are kind of too rusty. It's really, yeah. it's really tough to, to maintain that level of execution. Oh, man, Sonic, boom. Yep, Nakanishi playing it a little bit better than the last time. Ooh, oh, that was kind of a, jump. yeah, that was kind of a I saucy think, neutral jump. So I think he was doing that to the avoid the throw there. You had Vega do his stand, close stand fierce. Yep. Maybe Nakanishi has powered up from, Maybe. from taking the soul of Dr. B. He needed to take his soul so that he could have the, the, the power needed to defeat Justin? Yes. Oh, that uh, uh, was real ambitious. Yeah. Nagenishi even looks disappointed like, oh, I should have studied that range better. Yeah, probably. But hey, he's, he's probably going to get a lot of this meter back before he checks out. It is Guile. Guile does get to throw a Sonic Boom, and it gives him meter when he throws it and when it collides against Chun-Li, if it collides against Chun-Li. Uh, spinning bird kick. That, oh. does, that does hit Guile. Uh, he is a, a slightly tall character. Yep. Ooh, wow. That anti he's, he's got a tall crouching hitbox is what yep. it is. Oh, that duck fierce for America. Ooh. Oh, all the boots. This Guile is powering up. Oh, the roll super. He Some learned something all. from Dr. B. Yep, there you go. I'm telling you, he powered up. Yeah, powered he up. Did, he did steal the soul. This like, is real anime right now. Yeah, he was like, man, that roll super tech that he had. That was great. You know what? I think that might work still in 2019. I think I'm gonna do it. Do it. Roll super will be will be still viable, still hitting people in 2119. Oh, that did a lot of beats. All right. So Justin using the meter to get Guile out of the way, which is good because I think that Guile Sagat match is very even. Um, yeah, it's not it's not bad. This yeah. match is not great for Sagat. Yes. So we were talking about earlier the range of, of Cammy's stand. Roundhouse is good. Spiral Arrow goes under the Tiger there. Yep. I'm not even sure why he's chucking Tiger sometimes. The other just give him something to do. Oh, man. Oh, nice. Confirm. Gets a small combo out of it, yeah. too, but it's Ooh, worth it. Oh, that was a big mistake there. Oh, that did so much. Yeah, he's just going saucy. And he Oh, that was block. nice link there. Short, 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 medium. Actually, surprisingly hard to do. Yeah. It's back when links were were all rough. Yeah, so Sagat has to do that combo. The short, short. Ooh, yeah. Oh, nice. Wow. Cannon spike. Nakanishi's cami. All right. Standing she, medium kick. She did work. She did a lot of work. She did a lot of work. Sagat doesn't have meter, but he will soon. He, he might not even need, need meter to finish this off. Oh, and like one or two fierces, Sagat will have meter. Yeah. I feel like if he presses medium punch once, there you go. Uh, so, Justin has two bars. Nice uppercut. Oh, that's oh, it. Oh, the Dr. B? Yeah, he's going to roll, roll. That's a cross up. Oh, that's a, not a cross up. Yeah, that one was, that one was fake. Yeah. He wanted to see if he could block it. Tricky. He's like, maybe I'll do it again, huh? Oh, oh wow. All right. Not, not gonna she just decides he's going to knock on the door. Like, yo, let me in. Not gonna she up one nothing. Yeah. All right. Yes, one night, one night. Uh, Silent Scope is in the chat. Sometimes we read the chat. Uh, Silent Scope is hoping for a reset. He wants us to, to get a cot and sleep during this set. Although I can't sleep because it's very exciting. I'm, I can sleep only if, because I've been awake forever. <laughs> and, uh, but, but I am being carried right now by the power of Cuban coffee and the love of Capcom vs. SK2. I love this game. Nakanishi right now, uh, not doing as successfully as last game. Justin maybe timing the jumps after the Sonic Booms a little bit off. Nice down fierce there, catches the backwards rolling Sabat. All right. Man, it, it, like... Guile's been, like, Nakanishi's Guile has been much better about 
uh, the back medium punch. And, yeah, uh, anti airing. Yeah. Controlling the match. I think it's because the timings of the Sonic Booms have been a little oh, bit funnier. Roll super. Roll super. Maybe learning a little too much from Dr. B. Yeah. <laughs> so much. Oh. Nice. Maybe he's like, oh, Americans get hit by this all the time, so maybe I'll just start doing it. <laughs> Although, I mean, yeah, I'm surprised it worked last round. But don't pressure luck. But the thing is, with, with Guile, I mean, why not, right? Yep. Look, he's already got two meters again. Oh, he nice wanted it. Nice punish of the roll. He nice punish of the roll, though. You know he wanted it. Oh, he totally wanted it. Yeah, he wanted it. He was like, oh, you know, if it works for Dr. B, man. I want to <laughs> do it. I want to do it. Here we go. Here comes Justin again now against Cammy. Justin's claw. Claw. This matchup being extraordinarily annoying because Claw outranges Cammy, and Cammy depends a little bit on her range. Yeah, it's it's really just hard for her to approach at all. So I mean, this is the you know Cammy and Blanca versus Vega can be big turtle fests. If you ever want to see the biggest turtle fest. Justin Wog versus Steve Harrison. Google it. Yo, CBS yeah, two. that is legendary. I was there for that in final round. 60 seconds of staring at each oh other. Oh, God, it was so fun. Yeah. <laughs> I had a great time. I'm not even kidding. God. I was popping off. I was like, Oh, ah. nice air throw from Justin there. Vegas air throw is actually really good. His punch, he has two different ones. Uh, the punch one is, is affects a little bit above him, and the kick one throws below him. I think Nakanishi, in order to take this one home, he needs to get Claw out of here so he has Kami to fight Chun-Li. Uh, I think that's really... Oh, Nakanishi rolling with... Kami. Nakanishi rolling with almost no time left. Well, yeah, he's just got to hang on. I don't think right now Justin's job is, oh, I'm going to oh, Justin. Beat her. Oh, that was Bro. a draw. That was worth it. Wow. That was worth it. Uh, I don't know. He wanted like a little. He wanted bit to again. win. Yeah. But he got the draw. It's worth it. All right. Why? Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> that was a very expensive tiger uppercut. Maybe maybe he felt like something was gonna happen. I don't know. Ah, uh, I mean, hey, listen. Standing medium punch. Yeah. Standing medium punch is so great. It ranges so far. Ooh, Justin. Missing it, fierce, Ow. super. Tiger, tiger crush. Yeah, that was so. That was the mistake that Justin didn't get punished for a couple of matches ago. But here it takes a big fist to the leg. And boy, did it hurt. Yep. Came with a little fireball afterwards. Ooh. Nakanishi was thinking that that was going to be a footsie punish. But no. Nope. Nope. Oh, nice down, fierce. Yep. Chun-Li trying to shake Sagat's hand. Yeah, I think he's actually, uh, like, I think Nakanishi has done really well in this particular fight overall. Yep. Um, ooh, ooh. That's, that's tough. Keep trying to get, oh, curse. level uh, two. Uh, he's just going to go straight into the level yeah. one because that's going to be enough to kill. And yeah. Nakanishi lets uh, Justin Wong tie it up on one. I, 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 I commentated curse. Uh, not an issue, like. Oh no, I was fresh though. That was, oof, that was rough, rough. That was fresh. That I was, was fresh. like, he's doing so well, and then he did not. I'm gonna read a comment here. This game is really cool. It's like street fighting in like a King of Fighters kind of format. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. You gotta be careful what groove you choose because you just may lose. Just play K. Yes. Just play K. But also pick the groove that's in your heart. Which is K. <laughs> K is I get hit, I get mad. Listen, yeah. there's no better deal than that. Yes. Oof. You oh, hold on, wait. I oh, hold on. I just I just turned to the screen and I just realized what's happening. Wait, we have Ryu. Um, I think you know what it is. I saw it. and I thought it was Ken. No. That's and uh, he's he's busted out the Shoto here. He uses Ryu and um. And, and Super Turbo, we'll see him tomorrow. Nakanishi and Super Turbo as well. That's what I know him for. Yeah. Super Turbo Ryu. Yeah. Oh, this is not going well, though. This is not a good matchup whatsoever. Yeah. In any groove, there's no groove where C Ryu is an enjoyable matchup against against Claw. Yeah. Like, Wait, none. No, so Ryu's got some stuff. I mean, he's got some good buttons. Oh, no, yeah. A Ryu's lot of not bad, but this matchup? Yeah, this match is terrible. <laughs> so is this one, to be honest. 
Yeah. Claw's just a jerk. Yeah, Claw really ru ruins everyone's life. I think there's only about like, ooh, oh, wow. low uh. fierce and a red impact. Hey, That's yo. a super cancel only move. Yeah. Hey, if he screws up, he can't. He doesn't get anything else. Yeah. Justin, really, just this this Vega play. Vega play right now, looking super clean, punishing ooh, every right. Sonic boom from Guile. Nice jump back. Oh, jumps misses, over. Misses the uppercut there. Nice uh, jump in. Yeah. Saw the so fireball coming. Vega, Vega's jump is so fast that, like, really, when Guile throws the Sonic boom, Vega can just jump. Like, he doesn't have really any worry about Guile being able to react with anything if, if the fireball is thrown. Yeah, I mean. Unless he reacts a little bit late, like it was doing earlier, yeah. where he's getting caught with the back fear. I mean, the back medium punch. Yeah. But you know, if you have a suspicion it's coming, or you see the yeah. startup animation and you start jumping, you're gonna hit it. Yeah. Just like here. Yeah. Sagat throws can't really tiger. throw any tigers because if he throws a tiger, he gets clawed in the face. Yep. Uh, so this is pretty much uh, a thing about CBS2. Oh, doesn't do the combo. That fireballs in general are not good in this game. They're okay, but not as zoning tools. Yeah. Usually as enders for stuff that you want to make a little bit safer. Uh, or like very Ooh. short distance pokes. Justin could have finished that one. He could have, but I think maybe he tried and he screwed up the input there. Yeah, All right. Tiger uppercut from Nakanishi seals the round there, finally. Yeah. So prevents the OCV. Justin, showing America that he is the number one player in America. Sure is looking at it right now. Yeah. Sure is looking like it right now. I mean, a lot of people. I mean, you know, they know, they know the Evo moment. They know Justin for his Marvel play. But Justin is a very, very solid. But <laughs> solid is an understatement. It's not true. So Justin is a fantastic game in any game player, in any game he touches. Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, people forget like that year, for example, in 2008. Remember John Choi winning two, two titles, but two specifically titles. CBS2 being one of them, and. Uh, Justin was uh, no slouch. Yeah. So. I think it was like, right now. It's just like six or something like that. He made uh, Evo top eight some four games, including yeah. Tekken. I think right. Nakanishi's just like, can someone get me like a, like a guide here? Like, what am yeah, I supposed to do against this? This? Is, this. It's oppressive. Yeah. So, Justin taking the third game there in a very dominant fashion. Nakanishi hovering on Halmaro, which he's been doing when he's thinking about what he's going to do next. He's going to the thinking pose. Yep. Goes back he's going to go back to Ken and Ken Sagat. Masters. Now he can't switch off of this until he gets to a reset. If he gets to a reset, there's going to be the team for the rest of the this set. Yeah. And uh, all Justin has to do is win one more game, and he's the champion he's of Combo Breaker 2019. We'll see if he can do it. Nice. Uh Oh, nice air throw there by Nakanishi. Oh, nice up Down there. There we go. Okay. With the back medium. All right. He, yeah, uh, he's, a little, he's a little close to stun here, I think. Oh. You got to be careful. Oh, that's going to do a lot. Roll super. Uh, does it, that doesn't count because I could even tell that because he rolled through the slide, he knew he was going to catch it on the, on the back end. Doesn't account as a scrubby roll super there. I'm taking it anyway. All right. I was trying to give him some credit. I mean, it's not scrubby. It's just a roll super. No, it's the implication. Anytime you say roll nah. super. Nah. All right, all right. Nah. Nice uppercut there. Guy does have a lot of great normal anti airs. Uh, a lot of health right now. <laughs> yeah. This is wow. Okay, walk up, walk a shame throw. <laughs> From way downtown bang. Yeah, if you get thrown from like a walk up that happened from like half screen all the way to the corner, that's the walk of shame. Oh, my man right now, Guile, just put in boots in asses. Ooh, Ready, this set? Still? No. He has whiffed this so many get... times. Uh... Hey, here, you drop this. Hey, let me get back to you. Oh, yeah, you, sometimes you don't want to take the mix up, so you somersault. Man, <laughs> if he still wins, this he might. Best. Yeah, he might. So despite like that crazy huge mistake, uh, as far as blowing his level three, he's still in potential one ratio ahead. Oh, oh okay. 
He's got Noble Guard. Oh, uh, wow. Roll Flash Kick. That's the other side of that. Oh. It's like, wow, okay. All it's right. like those uh, Terry Boger players that do Roll uh, uh, rising, tackle. rising Tackle. Rising Tackle. Roll the, Rising Tackle. That was great in CBS 1. Really, can, It really was. You could just roll Rising Tackle all day. That's all you needed to do. He Terry. just did a funky kick, axe kick. I just want to put that out there. <laughs> Yeah. That was how he dealt the beginning damage of the round. I can't Funky believe. axe kick. Funky axe kick. Did you, did you go cancel it? I guess you can. I don't know. You do the axe kicks by like holding the button down. Yeah. And then like releasing yeah. it. So you get the roll input on time. All right. So Ken has level two. Ken's C cancels are very great. He can use it to set up damage with the fierce uppercut, set up with the strong uppercut. Um, and sometimes you can do some other cute stuff. Ooh, like the hurricane kick, hurricane kick down. Yeah. Oh, Justin whiffs the super because it knocks. Whenever yep. you dash, oh, close enough to get the full damage off of that. RC fireball. Whenever you get knocked out of a dash, you're considered airborne. Um, so it pops you up in the air, allowing him to be invincible. Oh, went for roll uppercut. Not. We gotta gotta remember that Ken Shoryu is actually really fast. Yeah. Nice uh jump. Fierce uppercut there to stop. Uh, Ooh, the RC wants to go from jumping. Kick. Oh, that was a drop. He tried no jab, jab, uppercut. No, he tried to do fierce into level three. That cancels, but he missed it. You mean Ken? Ken did, yeah. Sorry. I was thinking about Sagat's punch there after the screw up. Nice. All right. Ken so Justin, even though he has very little life, is does is sitting on 1.8 meter. Yeah, I mean you would probably. So this is the thing though. Three meters is a lot better. Than Ow. Alright. The chopper. Yeah, so Nakanishi only needs to land one. A fierce and yeah, it's fierce over as long as he's got a super. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Two oh here it is. Okay. Oh, that's so. a lot of damage, but now Justin Wong has no meter left and Nakanishi has all the meter. I think it's never over till it's over. I think he you might be in chip territory here. Not yet. Now he's got, oh, okay, oh, all right. Fierce. All right, all right. I was sweating that one. Woo. I need Woo. a fan. It was tournament point there for Justin, but we are now back. Oh, so there's I, I triggered a, co a conversation about CBS One. Oh, CBS no. One is not underrated. Uh, it is a it is kind of a bad game. However, there is I did notice some people did say that yes, the stages and music and presentation of CBS One is great. They put a lot of effort into it, and uh, it led to the much more polished game that we have here. Uh, also, the the, the the ultimate failure of CBS One is it only has four buttons. Yeah, that is that is a. Uh a valid argument, I guess. Yeah. They did want to cater to SNK fans a little bit more, though, with it. So. Yeah. But uh, one of the things I really like about CBS One, actually, is uh, Takuma Sakazaki stage is very good. Yeah. Sakazaki Dojo theme. Yeah. Sick. But the the four ratio ones was pretty bad. Yeah, I didn't like that. Yeah. I like good CBS forever. One because it sounds and looks pretty. Yep. And not much else. Yeah. All right, here we go. So we're back to the to the. Oh, okay. So we get a rolling crystal flash. Ooh. Get him. That's uh, ambitious. Yeah. Kind of slow, actually, to come out. Oh, man. Wow. This is... So Nakanishi's guy will put in all the work last time. And now... Wah, wah. It's been put to the sideline. And now you have yep. to deal with this match. I feel that when Justin's claw runs through Guile, it's, it's, it's a mat, the match goes for Justin. Yeah. And if Guile can even remotely hold off claw, it, Nakanishi then has won. Nakanishi has won. And so we're about to see if Ooh, that prediction stands through today. Nice RC Funky Kick yeah, there. Yeah, did roll RC Funky Kick. Yeah, which is like, that's some stuff. Yeah. It's like, what if I rolled and then I canceled the second roll? Yeah. That's hard because you have to basically RC right after a roll. Yep. Another thing that people don't know about uh, roll canceling is that it's throwable. Yeah. No matter what it is. Ooh. Oh, here comes a punish. Didn't do it. Because of the side switch, he didn't get crouching fierce with the right impact. Yeah. So he didn't have the charge for it. He didn't. He wasn't really buffering or anything. Oh, you know what? I don't think he cares. Oh. No. Shin That's Ruken. a great combo. Sure. Oh, it doesn't happen because he side switched sides on him. Oh, uh, well. He moved in like a funny way. He dropped out. I, that was a great confirm. Like he. he it was. Yeah. Oh. He, he just cut like pretty much to the jab dragon. Saw it hit. Did all that damage. 
Now, he lost Ken. And we're now on tournament point for Justin Wong. By the way, I just heard a let's go Justin. Oh, no. No, no. Why would you do that? Uh, all right. So Nakanishi. People in the back laughing because they know what that means. Yep. Nakanishi had to tweak his nose there for a second. Yep. Literally mid-fight, he's like, hmm, I got an itch. See, Sagat. Very dangerous. He probably, he definitely wants to get Vega out of here without using much meter. If, if any. Yeah, there, and he there does. it is. That's now, yeah, you see how he can punish that? Yeah. With a standing leg kick. Mm -hmm. Kyle can do nothing. Nothing. Nothing, honey. No, he just only be very sad that that happened. All right. So, here we go. Ooh. Nice anti-air sweep. It was a it was a bit of a GameStop trade, but <laughs> it didn't really work out for you. No, never does. <laughs> <laughs> give you for, I give you forty cents for your copy on Madden. Yeah. Resell it for thirty. <laughs> Jerks. All right. Nice nice mediums there. So, Nagamichi you need to land this level two. It really does, but uh, Justin's more than happy to shake his hand occasionally and sit in the corner. Yeah, just turtle it up. Because he knows that the longer the time goes, the more any value that he gets out of damage that he deals is gonna gonna be real sticky. Yeah, but see, if you if they just sit here right now, Nakanishi would win. Yeah, but I feel like Justin thinks that. And, uh, and he would keep all of his life. Yeah, but I feel like I feel like Justin thinks that he can do plenty of damage Ooh. in the end of this. Even now, all he's looking for is for Sagat versus Sagat to be close. Yeah. I heard it again. Oh. People just trying to tempt fate right now. That's oh, fine. Oh, wake up this, super. This might actually be okay a little bit for Justin. Wow, what a bait. He threw the slow tiger, realized that Justin needed to roll to avoid the chip damage. Yep. Roll straight into the punish. Nice little bit of set play there. Yeah. Nakanishi very much in this. Has one Re meter. Reset point for Nakanishi. Yeah. Justin Wong sitting on tournament point. It's anybody's game right now. Nice punish of a standing like it from Justin by Nakanishi. Stand fierce. Ooh. Stand fierce again, chopping left. Gets to level two. Couple more chopping lefts. We see a lot of fierce punches flying. A lot of them landing. Oh, oh, caught him dashing. Actually canceled it early so that he could still get some damage out of it. A little because bit it of was damage, but you would take oh. that. Nakanishi full level three. Oh boy, oh no, the drop. Oh, Tiger upper cuts out. This might not be the, the best thing there, but just on the sides. Oh, nice standing fierce. Tiger uppercut from Nakanishi. They're both close. Nice pressure from Nakanishi. Justin, guard very low guard bar. Lots of whiff fierces. <sighs> nice standing fierce. Breaks the oh, guard. Nakanishi's going to reset the bracket. Reset. We've got some bonus CVS oh, too. Oh, wow. Nakanishi. Nakanishi breathing heavy. <laughs> oh, the respect between these two competitors. He needs a minute. Ah, oh, he needs Woo, a minute. His heart is beating. Ah, oh, he needs a minute. What a competitor. Wow. What a competitor. Give him a hand. Not an issue right now. Wow. That's great. He's sweating. It's hot in here. He's getting a drink. Patrick Miller having a good time. Yeah. I'm, I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. I'm, 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 I'm really happy that I get to see. I'm down for more CBS2. I'm, I'm down for them having like three more like. Double KOs, and we yeah. have to be commentating at 12. I'm the sure the streamer does not want that. <laughs> he just looked at me like, nah. <laughs> this is uh, this is great. Uh, that was there was a lot of things that went ha that happened in that particular match, and I think that was very crucial. I think that maybe the guard cancel uppercut was not necessary. I would have taken the weird neutral situation afterwards, yeah. simply because it wouldn't have left him with almost no guard meter. Yeah, that was, and it would have was tough. Yeah, it would have given him a little bit of room to fight. But anyway, yeah, we're going into set number two. Yeah, they get right finals. back into it. Yeah. Now it's 100% anyone's game. Yeah. Ooh. As we, and as I said earlier, any I feel that any time. That Nakanishi's guy gets off to a hot start. The yep. set, the game tends to go to Nakanishi. Although last time, uh, Vega did a lot of work early, and the yeah. game ended up going right at the end to Nakanishi. I think one of the crucial things was that with that super that came out after that popped out of the dash that didn't land yeah. very well. So maybe also uh, a little bit of the, as you were saying that uh, maybe Chun Li could have been a little bit more proactive in that round. Maybe do mm -hmm. a little bit more damage to. 
to Sagat. Yeah, yep. If they're both half stock meter, you might as well just try to go for some uh, roll super some damage there. That's pretty. Ooh, oh, does okay, he did it anyway. Oh, oh wake flip. up super. Yeah, you know what? If we're gonna throw our meter around. I can do that too. Usually, the best thing about the the rule book is to know when to throw it away. Yep. All right, RC boom to wake nice. up. Nice, nice patience there. Yeah. For you, for you viewers at home, you can identify a, a roll cancel by sort of listening to audio cues. I know it's hard because we're yammering over this whole thing, but you can sort of see them for a couple frames sort of still together, and they go, they do one of their roll motions, which is guy was like, Soop, sonic boom. Yep. So it sounds like he's stuttering. It's like, good sonic boom. Yeah. Sonic boom. Oh, that should have been a lot more punished than it was. Okay. Nice slide there from Justin. Yep. Oh, that was a that Attack. possibly could have been a, a big combo there. All right. Whee! Doesn't punish the the whiffed rolling crystal um, flash. That's just a lot of weirdness going on there. Yeah. He's trying to make the damage more sticky by kind of chilling. Yeah. Not really going in even on fireballs. He's just. He needs to try to save. Nice his slide. Nice down medium. We're getting a lot of little forwards and a lot of cute little slides. Oh. <laughs> he was very tired, so he just kicked the claw off. He's kicked like, get out of here. Off. There's a lot of hitbox interactions in ZBS2 like that where these random like sort of toe kicks will stop sort of low slides yeah. uh, and, and pokes where they're, they it extends your hurt box before it actually comes out, before the hitbox comes out. Uh, ooh, there it is. Ooh. Super. Cancels it. Oh. Get another one. Yep, that does so that much. That was hype. That was cute. It's adorable. Yep. Oh, funky kick in the oh, throw. Wow, wow, Nakanishi. That was a statement round for Nakanishi's Ken. I think that was like the most dominant round in the grand finals by Ken Masters. So far, yeah, I yeah. agree. And uh, now, Ken, not as hard of a time as Ryu has against the guy. Yeah. But still not a great time. Yeah. It's he And it's almost entirely because of roll cancel funky kick. All right. And never mind. See ya. Yeah, goodbye. I was saying a lot of things about this matchup, <laughs> and they all came true. Rip. Rip. <laughs> All right, wow. so we get... Jason we, D blinked and Chun disappeared. I blinked and Ken disappeared. <laughs> yeah. So we're back to Sagat Sagat. The, the, the oh. dive kick of CBS2. Oh, Tiger Crush picks nice. to save the, the super. Maybe just wanted to press his positional advantage. Yep. Oh, Justin Garbar. Justin look, look. Roll, roll. I mean, oh, roll into jab, jab. Level one. Level one half is okay. Gave him enough time to get his guard meter back. Oh, and roll, roll hot foot. Hey, uh, the, the ghost of Dr. B is, is strong still in Nakanishi. Two fierces. Justin trying to create some space with those uh, shorts. Crouching oh, fierce right. trades. Ooh. Crouching fierce deep into the roll recovery. Oh, no. oh now wow. Justin Wong tries to roll. It doesn't work out for him. Nakanishi popping off real quick. That was a little bit sloppy towards the end there. You could tell that both of them wanted to like close it out, but really couldn't, you know, summon the clutch necessary to complete some of those combos. You had pretty much landed fierces unconfirmed into meter or anything like that. It's pretty intense. I feel like Nakanishi's starting to figure out some things about Justin. And uh, while well, Justin normally is pretty good at adjusting. Adjusting? At adjusting. Yeah. <laughs> I make jokes. Uh, you guys thought that James Chen had the monopoly on puns? Get out no. of here. I got a master's degree in urban punning. <laughs> Everyone here just turned around and looked at him, by the way. Like, yeah, we got like the streamer shook his head in disappointment. I think James Chen is going to run the, over here and yeah, be like, why? why? All right, so here we go. So Nakanashi now takes the lead for the first time in this set. You're so. being booed. I right, thank you. All right. Um, so he has a lead of one game here. Yeah, oh, Ooh, okay. Uh, and it's a dizzy go. I mean, look at that sick combo. Jump, clear, slide. Yeah. It's Vega, though. Just, just pop his guard. Yeah. There you go. If Vega decides to not use meter, he really doesn't have a whole lot as far as jumping combos. You can't charge uh, during his jump because his jump is too fast. Uh, you can't do enough hits in order to do a charge on the ground. Uh, so it's very, very difficult unless you were to do something like jump straight up and hold back. Yep. Ow. Uh-oh. Oh, his damage. Another one. Doesn't get a whole lot, but the damage on that is so crazy. Yeah. 
How many times has he got him in the corner and hit him with just like Jab Dragon? Yeah, remember, if you get hit by Jab Dragon by Ken in the corner, you eat... Lots uh, of damage. Yeah, you level one Shinryuken into another Jab uh, uppercut. Yeah. It's one of the weirder juggles. Like, people forget kind of that it exists sometimes. Oh, it was crucial to this game in uh, CBS 1. Any, anywhere on the screen. Yes. Uh, if Ken got a Jab Dragon, he could do a level one Sharyu Repa. Yeah, I know. I yeah. did that a lot. <laughs> I used to play Ken and Ryu, and I used to uppercut literally everything because uppercut was so gonzo. Yeah, and then in, in S, if he had more meter, he could then do Shinruken after that. Yep. I'm surprised that I haven't seen roll, rolling Crystal Flash roll cancel there. Just I feel like that would have been a good place to Justin let uses it roll cancels very limitedly. Like, yeah. Is that very limited? I don't know. Um, for very a, sparingly. Sparingly. For a pit. Ooh, the double slaps. And to nothing. It should have been a level one. Yeah. Nice. I like the... Basically the... Uh, super. The... Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, does the fire dragon. Wow. Oh, Nakanishi. Kick. Nakanishi. <laughs> Almost got the guard. It didn't oh. matter. Manages to sweep because it's so safe. <laughs> yes. Nakanishi fighting all the way back. It's going to get actually a healthy amount of life here. Ken is a little bit of a problem still. Yeah. Justin's got to get this Ken yep, out of Justin here. Justin Wong Does just it. gets rid of him and gets all the life back as well. And now we're back to the quintessential CVS2 matchup. Sagat versus Sagat. Yes. Jay Wong in the yellow trunks. Nakanishi in the purple. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a one-round bout. Nothing below the belt. I mean, no, they're they're only swinging below the belt. Oh, no. locked. Uppercut. This could be a big punish. Yeah. Down fierce into level just, three super. He just doesn't care. Let's go. Yeah, he, he goes to the whole level three. You definitely could get more damage for meter utility, either going into level two into a special or Ooh, nice level two fierce. level one. Let's see if the, leaving the damage on the table will come to haunt Justin. Justin, right now though, playing very smart. Lots of big whiffs. That middle area is just like a no-fly zone. Yeah. Like demilitarized zone. Just don't go in there. Don't go in. You get shot. All right, so Nakanishi pretty much <laughs> has enough meter to close this out. Lots of fierces just sort of floating in between. Goes for a roll, Nakanishi. Oh, no, dancing. Nakanishi doesn't know what to do because he does, he could die to a level one. Oh, he searches for, for it. it. Nice, there you go. Nakanishi gets oh. down fierce into level one super, and they tie it up. They tie it up. So he, he just oh man, he took a couple of prayers there. He did the, the the low forward into level two on a prayer. Sometimes. And then did roll and was trying to maybe uppercut or throw or whatever. Justin, you know, has the reactions of her to punish that and close it out. So, like, it's it's kind of really interesting to see when these top players of this caliber, like, they can get panicky just like the rest of us. Oh, yeah. And now here we go again. Justin Wong again off to a little bit of a hot start here on Claw. Yeah. With Claw. keeping the pressure. Yeah. Oh, that's that Sobot I was talking about. It can be <laughs> the slide, but... Yep. Wow, okay, so guard cancel just to be able to keep Claw in the corner. Yeah, I like it. Let's see uh, if it works for him. I mean, he did get his uh, guard bar yeah, back, got so it not back. so bad. He's chucking, he's chucking the booms. So oh, okay, so it's getting a little sloppy right now. Yeah, they're going all over the place. Okay, all right, there you go. And back in Justin's control, I do believe. Yeah. For his, for his back and forth, like, crazy as this particular match is, Justin does have a huge life heat lead. So Nakanishi has got to think, like, okay, do I, get, do I try to go for a super or do I save it for Ken Masters? Nice little jab there, trying to fight Ooh. claw away. Always good to see those anti airs. Oh, oh nice. Step kick. The step kick right to the mouth, and then inexplicably just eats yeah. a jumping claw right to the mouth. Yeah. You Probably because it's like two whole frames before he hits <laughs> it. It's, it's really yeah. fast. I think, as far as like normal junks go, go, Vegas is definitely the fastest in this game. Ooh, RC, oh, RC. RC fireball to counter the slide gives him the brief invincibility. But what if I cancel the roll? So. I, I was saying, ooh, this is super. Vegas out. Yep. I was saying earlier that uh, fireballs in general are very bad in this game. Uh, yeah. As standard fireballs, like ST. But with roll cancel, you can basically turn them into pseudo pokes. Yeah. Um, that you use at mid range in order to beat other people's long distance buttons. Yep. Like roll cancel happened. funky, roll cancel fireball. Yep. 
That's actually a way that fireballs are good in this game. Can you roll cancel them? If so, pretty good. Well, you can roll cancel them. Okay. Anyway. Oh, oh, that's super. What is he going to do? He, just he doesn't go for legs, fierce, yeah. into it because, again, it's a very hard combo. Nice sweep there to stop Ken from jumping out. So I've told this to Justin. <laughs> Ow. Is that you could do, uh, I mean, you could do, if you could wait for the last kick and you do spinning bird kick and the puff ball, it actually does about the same damage um, as what he did. You don't really get a mix up after it, but it, it is very solid damage. I think I'd rather have the the mix the up, up honestly. the up kicks. Yeah. yeah, in the corner you don't get a whole lot. Ooh, that's a great. Okay, so he decides he's gonna throw all the meter so he can just get Chun Li out of there faster. Yeah. Especially because Chun Li doesn't have a meter yet for Sagat. Yeah. So it's actually not a bad Ooh. thing to bet on. Level one super gonna get a mix up here. Ooh. Oh, okay, gets a throw, which is really not that bad, honestly. Short, short, medium punch. Yeah, Justin Chun putting in some work this particular match. Sorry, jab, jab, strong. Oh man. Jumping kicks again. Jab, jab. Stands strong this time. Goes in for a jump right, fierce and fine. eats the whole fierce tiger uppercut. And yeah. it did like 8 billion damage. It finally gets Chun out of there. That is the statement round uh, from that Justin, Justin Chun-Li. Yeah. Uh, she gets put to the sideline in this particular match. Uh, but that was definitely Ow. proving her worth there. I feel like every time I see a big standing fierce. Ow. Justin takes game two. Okay. On the back of Chun-Li's effort. Yeah, you ever been punched in the mouth real hard by a large <laughs> Thai man? He's like seven four and like, he's like eight, 300 pounds. He's like eight three. Yeah, he's made of radiation. Yeah, it's start crazy. singing the the George Washington song. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Justin eight, six, on tournament eight, point eight, now. Eight, Jesus, he's does not gonna she have more magic? We're about to find out. Yeah. Are we going to see even more bonus CBS2? Bonus CBS2, the best CBS2. Will the Wong factor prevail? Yes. <laughs> Sagat uh, does eat, meat, eat 10 meals a day. You are correct. Yes. He's like, right now? He's like, uh, you know, like the rocks. You ever see the thing of like what rock the rock eats every day? Basically, like, yeah. Like eight pounds of cod and stuff. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So Ooh, love, the backbreaker. Oh. It does so much damage for an air throw. It's it, like, ouch. It should instantly kill you. <laughs> no, okay. Calm down. <laughs> I mean, it is correct. I mean, yeah, maybe. So, uh, Justin remembering that slide against Guile is cheap. Yeah, it's cheap. Especially, uh, it, ooh, oh, wow. Oh, get to somersault. That did so much. That was a great chicken block. That was set up by an instant, like, sort of jump air block. Yep. For, and it comes down. Justin is still vulnerable. Was able to do the level two into the cancel. One, two, get to somersault. Yeah. Does people so much. Really, people really under look air block in this game and it is very chicken, good yes chicken guard in this game is very strong you may be paying a lot in terms of um, it does do 50 percent more guard damage yeah roll oh super. roll super here we are again the stock the spirit of dr b <laughs> lives on in our hearts all right sonic kaboom sonic kaboom all right oh nice chuck guile Ooh, uh, okay, cool. Thanks for the meter, buddy. Yeah, whiffs the counter. Doesn't He's matter fine. if Kyle wins. Oh, okay. Oh, level I, two, actually. I don't agree with that. I think maybe he was thinking about level one, but he didn't know if it'll kill. So level, he was just like, you know what? Level one with the follow-up definitely would have killed. I agree. And you, you're you burning a lot of resources there. RC Fireball. If uh, you're familiar with Third Strike, I think RC Fireballs in this game are much like EX Fireballs in Third Strike. You use them in the same kind of spacing and uh, uh, yeah. positions. Sort of, yeah, I agree. Chummy's doing good work here. Yeah, she's done getting the meter and doing s some amount of damage. Yeah. Maybe I don't agree with walking that. forward at a medium punching Ken, but yeah. So Ken's gonna get a fair amount of life back though. Yep. Gonna go all the way past the guy's face. Yeah. Now, see if Ken Masters has a masterpiece in him. I mean, he does have a lot of the guard bar gone. Oh, oh. that's gonna. Hurt it again, he kind of drops it. Yeah, he doesn't do the full cancel combo and leaves some damage on the table. Not much, to be fair, but enough. I, nice uppercut. Okay, so Justin Wong still so, keeping himself very strong. So what I, I, I said, so if you do the cancel, I'm not sure if he could have done the uppercut one, but you Just save level the level super. one. S saving the level one is very important, especially in this. I think he might have been a little too far for uppercut yeah. cancel. He might have had to do the jab, uh, the, fire strong, the fierce fireball. Yeah. Which is still okay. plenty of damage. Yeah. So now, tournament point for Justin Wong, Nakanishi, 
looking to bury Justin Wong Sagat with his own three meters. Big fierces. Big fierces. Lots of health. Lots of dancing. So right now, Nakanishi, even if Justin Wong is technically in the life lead, Nakanishi is definitely in the lead. Now he is in both all the leads. Oh, wrong. Oh, 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 this is going to hurt a lot. No, he decides to save the super. Probably yeah. actually a very smart idea. Yeah. So you, you keep. Oh. Oh, man. Jay Wong in troubles. Five meter troubles. He's going to cancel. Roll. Jab, jab, uppercuts. Justin Wong, though, has has some meter. Uh, he decides it. to spend it. Oh, <laughs> nice uppercut here from, well, alpha counter here from Nakanishi. Wow. And we're going to go to the last game. Last game. So. Nakanishi saving that one meter turned out to be clutch because he had the alpha counter there and when J Justin's meter was flashing he could have basically if he broke the guard bar he could have done low fierce and super and it would have been done yeah so saving that meter is great it's like because you get about the same damage from the level two cancel um, but you can only cancel your fierces into super so even just having one super is good yeah so we are going to, to the, the last final game. game. Final Ju game. Justin Wong, Nakanishi. The ultimate game. U USA, Japan. The worst stage. Yes. Who will be the world's strongest? All right. Let's get ready to g g g g get, get it on. on. <laughs> oh, here we go. So, Gal right now. Uh, Flashing. But yeah, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's, yeah. it's Vega. Yeah. What's Vega going to do? Yeah. Oh no, sick look at my slide. sick punish. Yeah, it's <laughs> like whatever. Vega kills you by degrees, so yeah. a maybe. thousand paper cuts. I mean, that's not a I mean, what is the claw made of paper? I don't think that's paper, buddy. It hits like paper. Uh, yeah, but it hits like paper if paper was punching the crap out of you. <laughs> Alright. So, hey, what's up? All right, wow. Where's, where's nice the pressure here. I think it's because he's right on top of him, he's afraid yeah. of, of it. Nice jump fierce into Sam Roundhouse. Oh, Went for it again because Gao whiffed the throw there. Yeah, and he getting, reacted to it in time too. Get out of dodge. Justin being really aggressive here, really chasing down Gao. Yeah, Justin knows that when uh, Claw has been doing work, it's yeah. been working out for him. Nice jumping fierce again. Oh. Nakanishi got caught pushing it down fierce, gets down, crouching forward. That is, that is a bully round from Justin. Why the hell does Claw walk so fast? It's because he's a Spaniard and a ninja. Yes, yeah, Spanish ninja. Spanish ninja. That's actually why I walk so fast. Yeah. I hope that helps and explains that to you. Yeah. He trained running the, with the bulls. Bulls are fast. Yeah, basically. Yeah. I, I heard that like the original design was way more matadori, and it was like, ugh. Yeah. I'm glad they settled on this crazy looking dude. <laughs> I was like, I got a claw. I got a claw, a mask, and a bad attitude. What oh, now? Oh, not to mention the big giant snake tattoo. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's actually one of the coolest parts. Yeah. Oh, oh nice chicken block. block. He went for it again. He was like, yeah, whatever, you know. Put more than one of these out. See what yeah. happens. Nakanishi right now, very far behind. Yeah. He has a lot of work to put in. Whoa, Morata. I think. The Sean kick is what I call that. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's, that's no bad. I mean, hey, whatever. That's, that's actually probably the best punish he had. Outside of spending meter. I didn't want to spend meter for that. Roll cancel fireball. Still punished for it, by the way. Looking. This is looking really bad. This is looking like a jog. This is, of the, all the times you want to get jogged, definitely not the last game. It's a tournament yeah. point right now. Yes, Justin is pulling out reserves. Pulling out skills and patience. Some Ooh, people nice saying that throw. Nakanishi is done. I don't think he is. I think Nakanishi is always a threat, especially with that amount of meter. That amount of meter and that amount of Sagat. However, he needs to make something happen right now. Yeah, I mean, Justin can play this chill. Any damage that he gets on Sagat is a bonus for a yeah. He is stuffing standing yeah. fierces what with jab? jab. This is when you know that. He's locked in. Yeah, he's locked in. Oh, nice he's uppercut. See, he's in the, he, like, he sees the matrix. That was a bait right there. Nice slide. Oh. Even if it was a GameStop trade, right now you're okay with GameStop trades. You're just trying to get value. Ooh, Any man. value is good. Oh. <laughs> that was a very bad misplaced slide there. Oh, I clenched. All right. Oh, but it's Vega, good for... So oh, much what damage. a nice slide. Doing so much damage on Sagat. Nice jumping roundhouse. You can't throw fireballs at Claw. Claw it's, right now looking dominating. Oh, it's a Dizzy. It's oh, an OCB. Justin Wong, ladies and gentlemen. Justin Wong oh, with it. Oh, they're going to hug it oh. out. Absolutely dominating OCV to take the tournament. Wow. Justin, Justin Wong. The best CBS2 player in America. Justin Wong. Justin Wong. What a very clutch 
performance. Uh, just overall, uh, Vega just doing so much work. Doing so much work, just playing so solid. Yeah. That entire, it was like a Vega clinic. Yes. Like if you needed to learn how to play claw there at the end, yeah, yeah. I mean, you were looking at it was just beautiful. Yeah, so jumping over fireballs. Yeah. Just doing slides, just perfectly being spaced slides. Lots of lots of low low, great, low mediums. Yeah, great positioning on the low mediums. Great positioning yeah. on the crouching fierces, both as anti air yeah. and as like as the furthest possible poke, trying yes. to catch with buttons. Just everything absolutely perfect. So um, it was it, it was great, and I and we got a lot of really great moments out of that. Um, you know, Nakanishi's Guile doing some sick stuff. Uh, we, you know, also the Ken Ken Masters, really, really repping, and we had some some clutch Sagat Sagat chess games. So uh, I don't know if you just caught that on stream, guys, but my boy here on the right just got Chaozu on the back. Uh, there's <laughs> Chaozu stickers, and uh, Justin's goal right now is to see how many people he can get Chaozu on. <laughs> uh, and the boy on the right already got. I think uh, he's gonna think he's. He's gonna think about getting Dr. B. Oh, and he's, he's for sure thinking about getting Dr. B. Oh, I hope so. Anyways, he, he already got Dr. B once. He already got Dr. B once. Oh, oh. oh he got on the book. Got he got on the book bag though. He yeah. got on the book bag. I guess that counts. <laughs> I mean, if it, if he explodes there, he's still gonna get him. Oh, Dr. B, Top absolutely Under, unaware. oblivious. Unaware. I think, is he gonna try to get video? Is he gonna try to get video? Or is he gonna try to get Dr. B twice? Oh no! Oh, got the Chats are just blowing up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who's I he can't gonna get? see him now because now. The, oh the no! Is it could be anybody. Oh no! Right. Oh no! Oh, he got oh, Rick's easy. He got, him. He got Rick's easy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rust easy. Rust easy. Rust easy. I I'm so tired. I can't even read. Yeah, yeah. we saw you. Yeah, we, we saw, saw you, yeah. Justin. <laughs> I think he's he's done. So overall thoughts. What a top eight. Dude, I mean, listen, we've got, we have representation of every single groove in the game, which is something you don't see anymore yeah. at all. We yeah. had Nakanishi with a absolutely excellent performance with his C-Groove teams, uh, played a lot of Guile, Ken, Sagat, moved around a little here and there with yes. Kami. Excellent work by him, uh, made one of the hypest resets yeah. that I've seen in this game. That was, that was, was so his. clutch, it took our breath away. Uh, it was really really tough it was an uphill battle and come back just to get there and then the, even in the second set it was back and forth all the time uh it's it's great this is i mean it's an old game it i will say without a doubt this fighter is capcom's most complex fighter that they've ever made if you want a deep game that you can lab out like that you can like hit training mode on you can learn stuff about you can read all the tech you want you can yeah. put all the tech this is the game and, and, like, honestly, I think it's even over all of that at the end, it is a hell of a lot of fun to play. Yes. It is satisfying. Buttons feel good. Yeah. Doing combos feels Stuff good. Stuff hurts. Stuff hurts so much. But you also get a long time to play. Obviously, the game takes a long time. Yeah, you yeah. know, I mean, yeah, maybe watching it sometimes can be difficult because you're watching and you're like, wow, these are some long matches. But I feel like... Every new, there's like different matchups in between games, like the same benefits that KOF might offer you yeah. in the modern day. CBS also offers you, you get different matchups in the same game. You get all sorts of like, um, you get all sorts of like interesting and cool interactions between characters, grooves, matchups change depending on grooves. Yeah, and so like, as you saw in this top eight, like you can play your way. Every every kind of play style can be thing. If you want to parry. If you want to dodge, if you want to low jump and run and rush that stuff down, if you want to do like command grabs, all that sort of stuff, your style can be in this game. And, yeah. and you can pick a groove and characters that support you. Yes, and, there's a top tier. And it will be good. I mean, yeah. like, yeah, sure. So the top tier is the top tier. Yes. And the top tier is strong. But there are characters out there that are not specifically the top tier that have very close to the same tools. For example, do you like did you like Claw? You had a lot of fun watching Claw. If you want a little bit more combos with your claw, play Mai. Yep. Mai, Mai, that's what Mai did. Mai also can do, yeah. oh, you threw a fireball, I'll jump over it and kick you in the face. You saw how much work uh, you know, Nakanishi's Guile did. Guile's yeah. not considered top tier. Guile's considered like solid, high mid mm -hmm. at best. Yeah, even, even Chun-Li isn't considered extremely top tier. Yep. So I mean, it's all sorts of stuff. Oh, 
Oh, I get, I get a medal. That's right. I get a medal. And uh, in your... Uh, <laughs> in fifth... Oh, I got a medal. In fifth place. Yeah. Renegade. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Renegade. Oh, that so tell awesome. me your thoughts as fifth place finisher. Oh. Uh, well, so it was good. <laughs> Very good. So. Uh, I mean, yeah, it was, it, was, it was tough. I mean, like, here's the thing. Like, I, I played a co I, I played some competent and good players, and I did pretty well overall. The matches I lost, I lost. Uh, yeah, you, you, you beat your head against the wall, and you're like, oh, why did I do that? Why did I make the mistake? But that's what fighting games are. It is... A lot of pain, a lot of suffering, and then you get small glimmers of reward that makes you want to go on. Yeah, and, and that is 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 worth it. Someday you you could be on top, or even just be like, I got better, I got good, this is great. And you get the camaraderie that you have here. Like I I go any place in the country, I see people that I know. I can like you know text the internet and be like, hey, who's a games here? I like, yeah, it's great. I I I really sad that I didn't enter. Yeah, I didn't have the time. I'm really disappointed. I really wanted to play. I want. I would have loved to play some CBS. Well, your staff and I, like, and I was sort of basically, you know, brought on as to be doing some staff stuff here because I have a lot of experience in that yeah. arena. And I, which I, by the way, thank you very much for. You're welcome. You know, once a TO, always a TO. Yeah. Um, but and when you start staffing, and then I had signed up for five games. Uh, it, it takes a toll on you. You can't do that. Yeah. So you can't. of those five games, two of them I went 0 and 2 in. And uh, and then two other ones I got top eight and uh, one I got ninth. There you go. I mean, yeah, you were almost top eight three times. Yeah, could have taken home three medals. Yeah. So it and and that was all old school. I didn't play anything on uh, anything high def. So I don't I don't really play anything high def anymore other than KOF. I just I just play this game and I play this game a bit. Yeah. So uh, anyway, so final thoughts. I love CBS too. <laughs> I love playing it. I love watching it. I love the people who play it. Mm -hmm. I wish more people would play it. Uh, you know what we should do? Uh, the joke was always that I would ask Iron Galaxy, hey, can you make me a new uh, CBS2 for the modern console? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm still down, Iron Galaxy, if you're watching this. Yeah, you wanna Iron, Iron it up? Galaxy. Or Thanks. Capcom, hey, you handle a lot of your ports now. Uh, yeah, a Steam version? Yeah, I mean, or oh, something. that would be nice. Or so, even just like basically, I, I don't know. I mean, I can't. The thing is, is with modern ports and stuff like that, with HD monitors and consoles. And I'll HDMI, take it. I'll take it. There could be some lag or whatever. Eh, I'll All take right. it. So, anyway, my thought is great, great tournament. Awesome tournament. Lots yeah. of players. Great matches. Yeah. And thank you very much for commentating with no, me. Thank you, dude. It's always a pleasure. You all right. It. Thank you very much to all you viewers out there. Thank you very much to Vampire Arcadia, our lovely stream host tonight. Next time, we want to see you here at Combo Breaker next and, year. And until then, we have a lot more content, so go to ComboBreaker.org and check out the schedule. So yep. you can check out every other stream that's going to be happening uh, for the rest of the term. And there's going to be a lot of content tomorrow, so please make sure to check it out. There's a lot yet still to come. All right, so I'm, I'm Renegade. I'm Nothing Excess, and we're signing off. See ya.